Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, okay, Heart shots no. guy. You know, you're gonna go get some water. We can we can smack talk in that time. Oh, oh God, that's loud. Um, I, I, no, no, actually, I take it back. You're fine. You smell good. You mean your senses are very <laughs> good. No, I'll keep Chat. it going. Jackie yeah, drinks no, no. soda out of bags. Chat knows I, where no, to find me. Incorrect. You can get all the scoops. I used to drink soda out of bags. I haven't <laughs> gone to the store in years. You know, that's weirder I, than bagged milk. The funny thing is, I don't even know if they still do it. Because I haven't gone to a, to a, to a, to a local store anymore. And now you can't even... You don't even get a, a plastic bag to carry the stuff you buy there. You need to bring your own bag. Sorry, I had my I, issues. Are you talking about bags again? Yeah. Yes. Because I, I just realized, I don't know if we still do it. It's been so long. Well, I haven't gone to I haven't gone to school in years. What do you want from me? <laughs> Wait, so this is only a school thing. Well, it's just that's how most students consume drinks. That was during the during middle school. I'm pretty sure they will still do it today. I, I I'm pretty sure, but I cannot confirm because it's been so long. Now I'm with Monty on this. It feels like. About, like school It'd be just too messy. Yeah. <laughs> it's also... Like, all you have to do is put like, one can... hole in one of those bags and it's just a disaster. Like, the thing is, I could get cartons, but bags are just, like, it just makes no sense. Well, it, it doesn't count. come in it. They pour it in the shop. Okay, that's still... That's, that's even weird. That doesn't matter! That makes it worse. It's like, ah, oh, I just finished my sandwich look, in this bag. You, I'm gonna go fill up the uh, bag yeah, with soda. Look, you, you can't want... put your drink down. How do you, like, if you want to drink and eat a sandwich, yeah, where do you put your drink down? You're not down? supposed it's... to. It's only if you want a drink. Let <laughs> me transfer this liquid. Let me transfer it's like this milk you're to You're coming out bag. of school. You're like, shit, I want, I want a drink. So you go to the, you go to the store. You're like, hey, you're going to get some soda in a bag. And, and they give you, they pull out the, the, the glass, the glass bottle of soda. They open it. They pour it in the bag. They put the straw in it. They give it to you. They keep the glass. <laughs> Can they just give you like a paper cup or something? That seems so needlessly complicated. That sounds it's... disgusting. What? I agree, Zen. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, right. Hold on, give me a second here. I'm just getting an announcement going. I can count on zero I on Twitter time. Time. how many times I've drinking drank liquid from a bag. Too much. Wait, didn't you did, wait, what about liquid? Too didn't much. didn't you guys have like the orange orange juice in the bag? Who's you guys? Little. <laughs> yeah, you're so yet. Yet. All y'all. Yeah, you're putting words in our mouth. I've never had orange juice from a bag. Let me tell you, not in my life have I purchased a bag juice or have, have like I drank a bag juice. No. 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 The Tampico's no. one? We, None. We, 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 we get, no, we get, we get, like, you know, pop. Like, we have our, our t like, aluminum cans for the pop. Did you? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to know this. Yeah, there has there, there there has to be a part in the U.S. or maybe or maybe in Canada or wherever the fuck you people live. Jesus, you you people didn't you you has have this? No, I, I'm pretty sure not the same <laughs> brand, but no. Um, well, orange juice orange juice in a bag. No, that is no. no you I've never you get one that. of those. You buy the corn and just drink. No, no, no. Are, no. are we the weird ones? Yes. yes! Yes! Oh man, we're awesome! Let's go! Yeah, I'm looking at this picture. I've never seen this before in my life. This bagged orange juice. Now I just feel it's uncultured. It's so good! It's not even in English! How can you say that? Like, Canadian! I mean, I was wondering if there was a- if there was like a- like a equivalent. Oh... It's got a little- like a little baggie. So there's juice in it, and you just bite the corner and you just... Eat, drink. That... It just baffles me. Alright, I have tweeted out that we are now live. I hope chat's doing good. I need to pop out chat real Hi. fast. Hi, chat. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the tier 3 supper. 55 months, thank you so much. I forgot to pop out my chat. Sorry I'm a little bit late. I was I was finishing a dungeon and we had a couple wipes. Oh my god, Blackfoot Ferret. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for gifting uh, leet bits... I think I'm not sure if you did it twice or if my my thing glitched out. But thank you so much for the leap bits. And if you did it twice, thank you so much for the 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 double leap bits. Thank you so much. I think it was uh, leap bits and a sub. 
Yes, I did see the sub, yeah. I'm yeah. asking to Twitter, okay? It's gonna be true. Are you going oh, to Twitter I'm for this? Is I'm that... going to Twitter.com. All right, everyone here, go to Twitter.com and tell him I know no. it's I know it's on fire right now, but I want to know. Go tell Bracky he's You're wrong on his Twitter right now. <laughs> yeah, please, please. You're going do, down to the sea of fucking and go, and tell, go and tell Bracky he's a freak on Twitter.com. Yeah. This is the ship you're sinking in into the sea of fucking bagged orange juice. You... This is the hill you're gonna <laughs> die on. Give me a second, I'm just grabbing uh, some things I'm gonna need today. Yep, right there, perfect. Well, anyways, how's chat doing? You know, bagged <laughs> beverages aside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go grab my binder, too, because we're starting with combat at the beginning of this session today. Yeah, oh, chat, in fun. case you forgot, oh, Lionel, yeah. uh, his horny horniness got us attacked last round, so. Thanks, Lionel. It's in the name. It's Lionel, in the name. Lionel has become cum brain. Don't no. Wait, yeah, don't no, say yeah, those words is... that you just said. Oh, sorry. Do not, Rewind don't, time. Do not. Take it back. Take it back. It take it back. I'm sorry. I'm oh, taking it back. Vardix, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Give me one second, guys. I just gotta write down uh, some snap blocks real fast because uh, you know nothing bad happened. I'm going. I'm gonna close the window. Be right back. That oh, orange guy. What do you mean, big oh. wine? Is wine usually bagged? What? Yeah, right. you know, like the the wine boxes you get, they're in bags inside of those things. Oh, I don't usually get wine boxes. My mom oh, makes no. wine. Remember, like we do homemade wine. We well, then put it in a bag, and there you go. <laughs> no, we put it in bottles and we cork it, like the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, but if you put it in a bag, it'd be in a bag. <sighs> but Gla it's probably not as good, right? Glass like bottles don't have corks. Well, I mean, at least it's not wine in a game. Glass bottle, like the glass wine bottles that you bottle wine and you you put a cork in them. Oh, that's All right. expensive. Speaking oh, of yeah. putting, speaking of putting corks in things, y'all shut up. I'm just joking. <laughs> that was really mean. How, is everybody here? Is everybody ready to go? Yep. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Zan, are you here? I am ready. Bracky, are you here? Yes. All right. Well, first of all. I need all you to roll initiative for me, please. But yeah. why? Yeah. All right, I I open I, I open fucking Google like ten times looking for pictures of bags and soda. Oh, and even some open, of us were not prepared the, for the initiative. Even open the map. Oh wait, for, I can't see my icon. I can't see my token. Where's uh, it? It's gonna be on the right, right kind of near the top middle. Yeah, scroll down just a touch, and then it's all the way to the right. Just do what I do, right. zoom out, and then zoom back into wherever you see the opening. <laughs> Every time I do that, my screen, like, zooms in too quickly to the mule, and it kind of scares me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just push around. The mule just wants to focus out. on her. Huh? There I am. Initiative! Please get above... Oh, no, that I was... Is... I was gonna say get a level eleven. I didn't mean hidden eleven. Wow, we're doing so great, guys. Nice eleven. We always do great. <laughs> okay, Thaddeus, no, it's on you now. Wait. I like that's the thing. I'm, I'm rolling for initiative, but it's not going through for some reason. Don't you don't have to click your token. You just need to click initiative. Okay. Uh, one second. Da -da -da. We are so double cool double check thing. your Beyond Twenty extension. There was an update, so. Ah, okay. Uh, darn updates. I'll just do it like I'm. House. I'm just a roll twenty five. Wow! All right. Oh okay. no. Okay, that gives wow. me time to figure out what's going on then. We weren't prepared for Lionel to set the these this evil upon us. We're clearly, clearly not ready for this attack. Well, the enemies <laughs> haven't rolled yet, so. And these uh, things were invisible and just flipped out of existence, right? Or blipped yeah. into existence. They seem to have arisen into existence. Yeah. All right. You know, I hit. I hate asking this, but I need to be fair. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> there are specific lines in the actual pre-written module that tells you whether or not it, it counts as a surprise round, and this does not. Gotcha. Uh, just ignore this real quick. Just testing something out. Lionel. Okay. Oh, hey, matches. Custom cool. roll. Right, don't work now. And then we have Wisp. 
And then we have Nyx. And then we have Bertrand. And then we have Thaddeus right at the end. Alrighty. As these things summon to life, they go first because they rolled averagely yeah. and beat you guys out. Yeah, same. <laughs> so the one immediately next to you, Thaddeus. Uh, oh, interesting. I gotta look up a status effect real fast. That's always a good sign. Always a good sign. Very How good big sign. is the area of effect is what we're gonna find out. <laughs> okay. So, it's worth pointing out that these creatures are invisible. Oh. Oh, we said we see nothing. You can feel it nearby, but it is impossible to see without the aid of magic or a special sense. For the purposes of hiding, the creature is heavily obscured. The creature's location can be determined by any noise it makes, which is what you, how you guys can determine it. Hmm. Or any tracks it leaves. So anything that is sight-based does not work on these things, because they are considered I invisible. I am goof. Attack rolls against the creature have disadvantage. Mm. So. Thaddeus. Immediately, this one next to you slams out towards you. That is going to be an 18 to hit. That Ooh. absolutely hits. Alright. You take... Make some math easy. Ten points of bludgeoning damage as it slams you in the stomach. Mm. It's going to make a second strike. Uh, 19 to hit. That absolutely hits. Four. Uh, significantly less damage. That's going to be six points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. This okay. other creature immediately charges towards you, Bertrand. And it's going right, to do lovely. the same thing. It's going to do two slam attacks against you. I'm assuming it's advantage because it's invisible. Yep, it sure does. Okay. 21 to hit. That is a hit. Okay. Uh, you take seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Second swing. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 to hit is a hit, yes. Oof, this one's going to hurt a bit more. Okay. Uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage on the second swing. Yep, it does hurt a bit more. That ends the enemy's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. For spellcasters, right. be sure to be aware of your spells if it says a target you can see. All of mm -hmm. them. Okay, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So I'm aware there's something in front of... Uh... Fireball. Fireball. You are aware. <laughs> yeah. Fireball. So I can't see it, I can do nothing, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna improvise. I'm gonna run over here. And since I can't really attack it, I'm gonna improvise and gonna use my, my uh, bottle of ink that I have. Okay. And spray it in front of me. Go ahead and roll to hit with advantage with an improvised weapon, I'll say. Yeah. What would that be? I'll let you use dex or strength of your check, so either roll a Dex check or strength check of your choice with disadvantage. Can you the disadvantage, dexterity. You are not proficient with. So okay. It's either a natural 20 or, or a 22. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. You grab your bottle of ink. This will spend the items. Just keep that in mind. Yep, that's gone. And you uncork it and you just. Throw it in front of you. It crashes and the glass scatters across the floor. I should have put it in a bag. And this creature <laughs> is now visible. You can now see it. Clutch play, Bracky. I had two more bottles of ink. <laughs> that is your action. Give a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> None that I can use at the moment other than just spray it. See the creature completely in this. Yes! Oh no, I'm too close. Okay, that's gonna be my turn. All right, Wisp, it is now your turn. All right, I'm gonna make that funny decision. Uh, I'm gonna emboldening bond on me, Nyx, and 
the two casters. I'm gonna leave her out of this one. Okay, it's completely you reasonable. You, Nyx, and Lionel, and Thaddeus. Mm. Alrighty, you feel and... bonded. Yeah. You feel so close, feel... like you can tell each other anything. <laughs> hmm. Um. I think I think I'll just move a little bit and kind of assess the battlefield before I make any more decisions right now. You got it. All right, that brings us Nix. It is now your turn. Can I use my eye for detail, or uh, does it specify a creature you can see? Uh, well, the eye for detail is try and spot it. Mm. You know what? I'll look this up real fast. You, know, Only you, you had see, nose for yeah. detail. <laughs> Nick's up there sniffing the ground like a hound dog. Just I can smell your weaknesses. I can smell your weak points. Sniff snuff. Sniff snuff. I'm close enough to the ground anyways, you know, it's not that weird if I just crouch down a little lower and just start sniffing. I can smell you. Oh you have cancer, don't you? So you can, but you still have disadvantage. That seems to be the consensus. Okay, so not really much point in using it then. Unfortunately, yes. I feel like it's if it's running away, you'd be able to track it better than us. That will work. I will... I think I'll just rapier it. Alright, with disadvantage, go for it. I don't think that's going to have any effect. That on doesn't matter, 24. and you get Seek Attack, so go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Six piercing. Plus... So, 26 total. 26 total, alright. As you strike you saw... into this thing with your with your rapier, it does not do as much damage as you think. It does take the damage, but it seems to be resistant to it. Do you just roll level 20 for head? Yeah. They seem a little resistant to my blade, guys. One second, uh, I'm just map real fast. Oh, resistance to, to normal damage, huh? Great. Alrighty. Give you your bonus action if you would like to use it. Mm -hmm. Is it worth risking my last dagger to bonus action with my daggers? <laughs> Uh, nah, I'll leave it. It's okay. <laughs> Alrighty. As you stand there next, I'm just going to reveal some space for you because you do have a dark vision. There appears to be some hallway, and same with you, Lionel. You also see a bit more. Hmm. Alrighty. That ends Nyx's turn. Bertrand, it is now your turn. As you now see an ink splotched kind of wispy-looking, fog-like creature ahead of you. What are the chances this one's also resistant to my sword? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but he's gonna swing. Best you of his ability. It. Plus two uh, hit, because you have, uh... Twelve. Well, well it's not have... disadvantage. No disadvantage, he's visible now. So oh, it's that's right, so 19. So it's 21. Yeah. That hits. Go and roll damage. Anyway. Thank you, Bracky. Seven. Seven slash. As you carve into this creature... Yeah, sure enough, it seems to be resistant to your damage. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, he's going to swing again. You got it. 20 to hit, soft. That absolutely hits. Or 12 slashing. 12 slashing. A much mightier hit, but still resistant as you cut into it and you watch as wisps of its body kind of fray away and almost disintegrate like cotton candy and water. Yeah, that is Bertrand's turn. All right, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. All right, then. He's going to immediately, like, feel something, like, trying to push him. Like, oh, get out of here, you! Wherever you are. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> You're not as invincible as you think you are. He's going to pull something out of his pocket, and he's going to throw the holy water and just spray it over here. Right over here. Just spray it, like, in front of this general direction where he got pushed. Uh, you can only choose one block to throw it. You cannot. It does not a cone. 
then he'll go immediately to the place, to the place where he was like hit at. You got it. Right so here. go ahead and roll an improvised weapon attack. So that's gonna be either dex or, usually it's only allowed to be strength. I let it be dex too. Uh, either roll a uh, dex or strength check of your choice, but you have disadvantage. Uh, dex check? Okay, uh, let's see. They're both equally bad. So, uh, if I'm reading this right, I think I'll just do this. Nine. And roll again, because it's disadvantage. Ah, right. So it could be even worse. You're gonna be at one, yeah. Okay. Nine. Wow. As you go to throw it, Nyx, you kind of duck out of the way as the holy water crashes against the wall behind you and spills to the ground, unfortunately. Damn it! Doing nothing against the enemy. Go ahead and mark that out of your inventory. That is your action. You have your bonus action and your movement. Uh, if I try to move away, you can get an attack of opportunity, right? Yep. You pull it and figure out what's, where this is coming from then. I see you got it this it. turn. Alrighty, top of the turner is now the enemy's turn. Very annoyed that it is now covered in ink, the visible creature turns towards you, Lionel, and you can see where the ink kind of pools around its brow. It furrows Ooh. angrily, and no. it kind of flexes, and you watch as its arms that you can now see visible with the ink kind of bulge, and it brings them down together and swings towards you. It doesn't have advantage anymore, but it's gonna oh, swing at no. you. Oh uh -oh. no. Oh no. It's buff. Oh shit. That's a natural 20, bucko. Ah, uh, come Whoa. on, man. Whoa. Oh, I was boy. like, yeah, I can shield this. No. <laughs> that is 23 points of bludgeoning damage on the ground. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Second swing. Uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, and that is going to be 11 points of additional bludgeoning damage to you. Here, I'm, I'm gonna take that. You're gonna take that? With All my right, reaction. So you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage, Wisp. Oh. Thank you. I lost half my HP. The other creature, it's got two targets now. Um, you did stab it, Nyx, so it's gonna turn and face you and is going to swing twice at you. Sounds about right. Oh, it has advantage. Ah, oh, fuck, terrible. I rolled, I rolled very badly on both. Uh, that is going to be a nine to hit you, Nyx. Misses. All right. This is too short. Second swing. Oh, thank God it has advantage. That is going to be a uh, 22 to hit. Yeah, the second one will hit. <laughs> you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage as it punches you squarely in the face. Uncanny dodge. All right, so five points. Hmm. All right, Lionel Goodbye, is, now, is now your turn as your nose is bleeding from the, from the rearing blow of the crit. Yeah. One second, I just realized I never changed my HP. Fuck. This is the last level up? One second. Ah. Whoops. What's my sight? Also, why do I have so little? Because you're a wizard. I know. <laughs> you're squinchy. It was 23, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ready. All right, it is now your turn as your nose is bleeding. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, nope. I am gonna use a let's let's do let's do let's do third level magic missile. Okay, on the one in front of you. Yep, the one I can see. You got it. So that's gonna be three plus two more magic missiles. So one, two, three, four, five. Whew. That's Good spread. Fourteen. Ooh. 16, 19, 19 points of damage to this thing. That makes the math really easy. You set out a barrage of magical missiles, and as they hit the creature, you watch as more of itself kind of puffs away, but it seems quite strong. As you do do a significant big chunk of damage, but it still has a lot of fight in it. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Uh, I don't have anything to use as a bonus action at the moment. Uh, oh, technically I do. No, that was that was a cast spell of a first of a of higher level. So no, that is going to be it for me. 
Alrighty, Wisp, it is now your turn. I have a question for you. Yeah. I have a an action I haven't used before. Uh, it's my Channel Divinity Bomb of Peace. Mm -hmm. If I were to use this, um, post it in the chat so you can read it, and I combined it with Tabaxi Dash, could I have 60 feet of movement to move around and heal people? Uh, so it says you move up to your speed specifically, which would be your base speed. Right, and Tabaxi Dash boosts my base speed. Can you click Tabaxi Dash for me for real fast? I do not have it in this version of the sheet, but I, can, I think we can look up the yeah. actual wording. Uh, feline agility. Your reflexes and agility allow you to move with a burst of speed. When you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of the turn. Okay, then yes, I will allow it. Thank you. Uh, as Wisp kind of dances around the battlefield, and with uh, that much movement, because this says it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, yep. I can happily touch everyone in combat and then return to the middle, and everyone receives 2d6 plus 2 healing. Let's Ooh. go ahead and roll that. How much did you say? 2d6 plus 2 healing. Wow! Oh, I was just going to do it for everyone. Yeah. Well, would you rather it be one roll for the whole group, or everyone roll individually? Uh, it's your roll, so ah, everybody okay. heals for 8. Yeah. Gotcha. So, you. It yeah. would have been the same thing that you rolled anyways. <laughs> it is, actually. Yeah. Uh, those temporary hit points um, from you the aid that you give, them. you can heal up? Okay. Yep. Yeah. And as a bonus action, I will summon my favorite mace to help smack at this guy. So God. hold on, did we just get healed or got temporary Everyone, hit Everyone healed for eight. Okay. It's just that a couple of us had the aid from before, and those can be healed up to gotcha. that. Yeah. All right, your spiritual weapon is summoned. Go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> Bessie. Sorry, thank you. Uh, 22. Yeah. That hits for three, three points force of damage. force damage. Hey, it's numbers. still damage. And I'm just gonna call out to Nixon uh, Bragg. Uh, you guys got that one right? We'll focus this one down and be able to help you. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, Nixon, it is now your turn. Woo. Um... Yeah, I think I think I'll attempt an attack. I don't know if it'll make much difference, but I'll attack with my silver dagger. I'll see if it does anything. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen just hits. Uh, six plus twelve, so eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Oh. Again, as you slash into this thing, the silver doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Oh, bad new ga news, guys. Uh, silver doesn't really seem to help much either. I think I think we're relying on the magic mostly. Alrighty, that brings us around to. Assumingly, these uh, the the dead words. Uh, you have your bonus action, your movement next. I apologize, I almost skipped over your turn. Uh, no, I don't need to move. I think I'll stay flanking with uh, Thaddeus and. You got it. All right. And I only have one dagger, and I use that now, so. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Bertrand, yeah. it is now your turn. All right. Bertrand is going to continue the murder sandwich and swing to the best of his ability. Actually, he's going to... Uh, does the spiritual weapon count as giving flanking? Or no. no, it does not. It is he will stay there. Yeah. He will stay there and swing potentially twice. That hits. That is 24, yes. For, For seven, seven points slashing. Once again, it seems quite resistant to your blows, but you do manage to carve into it. Second swing, uh, 13 to hit. 13 just misses, I'm so sorry. That's all right. That is Bertrand's turn. All righty, then it's Bertrand's turn. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. So, we need magic, eh? Consider it done. Uh, question. 
would he be able to see Nyx be able to like strike at this thing right in, right in front of him? Uh, no. So it it counts as being invisible for any spells that require you to see a creature for it to be targeted. It is um, automatically fails. So okay. Nyx is swinging with disadvantage. As far as you're concerned, she's hitting nothing right now. Visually. Mm, perhaps, perhaps I'll make this easier for you. He's going to use rays of ray of frost at the specific square where she was swinging at. It. it doesn't specify as to see it. Just a creature within range. Okay. Get, assuming there's a creature within range. You have to make a range spell attack, so you will have disadvantage. Mm, Technically, you would anyway. Back, could I move back first? Just to... No, it's invisible, so you're going to have disadvantage no matter what. All right, mm -hmm. fair enough. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, forgot to do disadvantage. Yep. Uh, that's... Now let's roll again. Go. That Ooh, hits. Hey. 18 hits. Go ahead and roll hey. for damage. Now, hopefully the cold will, like, help, like, help it materialize a bit better, right? Five. Five. Five points of cold damage. You do get a solid hit. Unfortunately, it does not reveal where it is as the ice eventually kind of frosts away. But you do do five points of damage, and it does not appear to be resistant to that. Ha! We're getting there! And that's the end of his turn. Alrighty. That brings us around to top of the turn, or it is now the enemy's turn. Ooh, how smart are these things? No, They're please actually no. reasonably intelligent. Hey, Lionel. Yeah. They are 10 plus, they are, they are human intelligence. Yeah, they're pretty smart. So it's gonna mm -hmm. go for you because you're you're a wizard. You're unarmored, and you ah, are come bleeding. On. I feel like I feel like that's not necessary. Yeah, I feel like it is. No. Uh, that's actually really bad. That's an eleven. Well, that's pretty good. Does that miss? I misses. All right. Well, it's gonna go for a second swing though. No, oh, no. Uh, a bit better. Thirteen. Uh, that would match if not for my mage armor. Okay, so both of them, as it swings, you kind of, like, do, like, the, the boxer sort of, like, shifting side to side as you dodge the inky blows. The other one, uh, yeah, is gonna keep going for you, Nyx, I think. Uh, jeez, first one's a 25. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that might hit. Uh, you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage on the first strike. I'm Kenny Dodge. Uncanny dodge, you take five points of damage. Second swing. Uh, that is going to be another 22. It seems to be the number of the night. Uh, as you take ten points of bludgeoning damage on the second strike. Oh no, it actually went into my actual health pool now. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright, that do? brings us to Lionel. <laughs> it is now your turn as you are boxing with an angry looking gust of invisible wind that's covered in ink. No, I'm gonna. What do you do? You... So I can see this creature now, right? You can see the creature in front of you, but not the one that's mm -hmm. behind you that Nyx and, and Thaddeus are currently fighting. I want to try out this air. spell. I never, I never use this spell. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna require of you a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Or Mind Spike. Mind Spike, alright. Oh, I like that spell. Uh, uh, that is going to be a 10. 16. That fails. Alright. So as Lionel looks at this creature, just it's, his eyes brighten for a second, and just this... It just feels like the worst headache in the world right now. As it takes... Nine spike. Takes 3d8 psychic damage. But, like, why are you like this? Uh, okay. Let's do it the traditional way. Roll. 3d8. It takes 15 points of psychic damage. Ooh. Oh my lord. Hold on, I'm just gonna put down something that you're tracking it. 
Yeah, I always know the, the character's location, so the spell ends, but only while it's all the points of damage. Planet. Not Oops. bad. Hold on, give me one second here. Mm hmm. You strike into it, its head kind of actually explodes with a gust of air and ink. And as it slowly reforms, you see now it's kind of loosening in size, but it's still got fight in it. But you are very aware of where it is. It's just my line of just doing that, po that pose of the guy making a slice of, of, uh, of pizza float. Just, oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that guy. All right. Just remember that you are concentrating on the spell now. So just keep that in yep. mind. All righty. Does that end your turn, Lionel? That is going to be my turn. All right. That brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. So this one's looking like it might... Well, actually, yeah, we can't see this one because it's got the ink on it. It's starting to look like kind of battered. It's looking battered, but it's still got a lot of fight in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to run up and swing at it with my silver short sword. You got it. It is an eight. <laughs> eight? Yes. Swing and you miss, unfortunately. But while it's distracted, the mace gives it a little tap on the back of the head, obviously. All right, let's go, mace. Do what is his favorite mace. Where is spiritual weapon? There it is. That hits. 23. For 10, 10. points yeah, of force nice. damage, not bad. As it slams into this thing, it kind of buckles for a moment, the distraction working perfectly, but it is still standing, and it looks like it still has some fight left in it. I am out. All right. That brings us around to Nyx. It is now your turn. <laughs> Debating if I should... Give Thaddeus some help by maybe trying to make it visible. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. Uh, you know what? Can I throw a bottle of try to throw a bottle of ink on him too? You may attempt to either use a, just a dex check or a strength check of your choice, and it's with uh, disadvantage because it is invisible still. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not going to go with the minus one strength check. Um, I take it. With flanking, can I roll my plus four emboldening to see if maybe that will hit? You may attempt to. Ten plus nice. four. Fourteen is its AC. You just hit it with the ink. Nice. Mm, nice. Okay. He's covered in ink now. He is, sure <laughs> is. And make sure to remove the ink from your inventory as it is now gone. Uh, doing so right now. Thank you, Wisp, for that emboldening dice because <laughs> it'll work. Thaddeus, <laughs> as you watch, Nyx is about to throw a bottle of ink at you, and you kind of bring up your hands extinctly. You hear the crashing of glass, and as you look up, you now see the garish and darkened outline of the swirling creature ahead of you. Ah, much obliged. Now for some heavier firepower. He's gonna pull the chromatic. Yeah, it's not, it's you not your turn. It's not your turn. Oh shit, it isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was doing sorry. flavor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Like You were excited. It's oh, all God, good. Sorry. But it's still next it turn. Ooh. Ooh, Keep I'm that energy though for your turn. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I, I, I off hand daggers. All right, straight roll. Yep. With flanking. Ooh, it's got to be the silver dagger because it's the only dagger I have. Yep. Oh no, it's a natural one. Oh. No, it's with straight no, roll not... because it's not invisible oh. anymore. God, there was a, definitely yourself. a moment of panic there. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> Okay, add that sneak attack. As four points of damage, yeah. You will not get sneak attack because you hit it with an oh. attack before with the ink. That's so right. technically okay. it's aware. Just ignoring of that then. So, yeah. So. But the four, it's four points of damage, still resistant to it, so you still do some damage to it, but it still seems to be pretty uh pretty resistant to your attacks as you carve into it with your blade. Alrighty, Bertrand, it is now your turn. Okay, Bertrand is going to take a step to the side to give flanking to Wisp, who I don't think Lionel's going to be swinging in melee. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to swing once with the sword, 20 to hit. That hits. For 8 slashing. All right, you carve into it once again. Your sword just barely getting purchased on whatever makes up this creature. Bringing a sword up, he's going to try and follow through with the stab for 23 to hit. 23 absolutely hits. For 11 slashing. 11 slashing, not bad. As you cut twice into this creature, 
its form kind of, it doesn't show battle damage like a human being or something made of flesh, but you do see kind of like a torn up piece of wispy cloth. It does seem to have taken some damage, but it is still standing and seems furious and still in the fight. That is Bertrand's turn. All right, that brings us to Thaddeus. It is now your turn. All right, he's going to pull out that energy from from before. Ooh, I'm going to get you. He's going to pull up a first level chromatic orb. Okay, um, you are shooting into melee, so that will be with disadvantage if it's to hit. You know what? He will now that you can actually see it, he will back up one. Okay, he will get it he will get an attack of opportunity on you. All right, try it. Uh, no longer with advantage because he's no longer invisible. That is still going to be a 14 to hit, though. Okay. Does that hit? It does hit, yes. Okay. So you take... Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. As you kind of skirt Ooh. back, it kind of slams you in the side, but you whip around, your robes kind of kicking up some dust as you kind of coalesce your hands and launch the chromatic orb. Ha! There you are! Let me do that. One second. Uh, look, this is going to be lightning damage, by the way. Lightning damage? You got it. All right. 20. 20 hits. Go and roll damage. All right. Let's do it. Uh, lightning. Here we go. Eh, could be better. Seven. Seven points of lightning damage. You got it. Just gonna double check here. Uh, yeah. Oh. Fifteen. Yeah, for your wild magic. Yes. Seven points of lightning damage. It does not appear to be resistant to the lightning damage as it rattles across this thing's body and makes it kind of shudder in pain. Right, one more good hit and you're going down. Nyx, finish him off. And that's the end of his turn. You All might right. Top of the turn order. It is now the enemy's turn. The one immediately behind you, Nyx, is going to turn and just start wailing on you. No, no yeah, advantage, though. Right. Uh, it's not going to help. Another 22 to hit. 22. It really likes that number. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. 22. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Uncanny dodge. You take 6 points of bludgeoning damage. Second swing. Uh, not great. Uh, 13 to hit. Misses. All right, the other one is going to keep wailing on you, Lionel. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> get him. Uh, oh, that's, I thought what it was a What do you mean, six. get him? Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit you, Lionel. I'm going to use shield. Okay, use your reaction to <laughs> ching, bring up a shield. It kind of hisses at that yeah. and then turns... Uh, and it's going to aim its second strike against you, Wisp, seeing the magical oh. shield coalesce. Uh, that is going to be a 21. Yeah, that hits. All right. You take 12 points of bludgeoning damage as it Ooh. rears around. You think it's going to swing towards Lionel's shield once again. They swing around and immediately clock you in the side of the jaw. That ends the enemy's right. turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. Oh. And the... He's just... He's one round, that's all. That means... That means it's gone. The AC bonus is gone, right? Yeah. No. It's just your turn. Until, Until the start, start of your, your next, next turn, turn which, which is happened now. immediately. So it's gone. Which is now, so yeah. So I'm going to have to... Now. I'm going to have to move. Uh... Screw it, I'm gonna move. Okay, that, there, are you gonna disengage or are you just moving? Uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna disengage. I'm gonna let okay. them try to hit me. Uh, that's gonna be an 18 to hit. That's gonna be another shield. Okay. That goes on my first level spells. Uh, you can cast shield with a second level spell, it'd be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna move over actually now. You run up next to Thaddeus. Hey, how you doing? Oh, doing pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna use a second level magic missile against the guy below. You got it. 
Like, he tried, he tried to hit me, I just shield it away again as I keep running, aim back, and... Yeah, pew, 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 pew. And magic missile, magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. Wow! Um, another that's a lot one. Of missiles. That's a lot of missiles. Another one. Yeah, it's 18 like a lot of points damage. of damage, not bad. <gasps> it's starting to look rough, but it's still oh, fighting. It's starting to? Yep. Oh, these, guys are, for me. these guys are chunky. I noticed. Alright, that ends Lionel's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn. This time I'm going to use the mace to distract it, and then I'm going to swing it with the sword after. You got it. Spiritual weapon going out first. Here it goes. Nope. That's an eight. <laughs> See, you go it's to just, swing it's the just mace. a distraction. Yep, it distracts. <laughs> Plus two. Eight. 20. That hits for seven piercing. As you I'm going to slash... burn one of oh. the fire uh, rune charges. You got it. Go ahead and roll a d6. Oh, my fire. oh! Nice! Ooh, nice! So, as you swing with your sh your silver short sword, it doesn't seem to have any additional effect on its body. It still seems to remain resistant to the slash. But as you carve through it, an explosion of flame cuts through this creature, strong and true. It takes in total. Yeah, and it's it's looking even rougher. It seems to be doing even worse. But it is I still give a, standing. Give a nod to Bert, like, you've got this. Finish it off. Alrighty, that ends Wisp's turn. That brings us to Nyx. It is now your turn. I've lost my flanking. You have, and your and your <laughs> sneak attack as well, unless you do your Inquisitive. No. Well, actually, no, my Inquisitive could work because I can see him now. It, don't, it only works on creatures <laughs> I can see. Yep, you can see it now. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll try. Roll, roll that deception check. You got it. Oh, I rolled history. Oops. <laughs> uh, Twenty-three on the insight. Oh, Better yeah, than the history no. check. No, no dice. You absolutely see through this thing. Okay, cool. I will attempt to surprise, surprise, rapier it. You got it. Twenty-seven, 27. absolutely hits. Go roll sneak attack. 16 sneak attack. So that's 16 plus 7, so that's going to be... 23. 23 points of damage. I'm whittling it away with that half yep. partial damage. You know? Whittling away it is an apt way to put it. As you cut into this thing again, <laughs> your, your rapier not quite doing what you, you, you're you used to on a fleshy target. You do hack away part of this creature, and as its wispy form kind of dissipates into the air in a pathetic gasp, it still is, like, locked on you, kind of flexing and punching. Look, I'm sorry our companion was so horny. Do we have to do this? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, next, is that end your turn? Yeah, I used my bonus action and my action, so I'm good. You got it, Bertrand. It is now your turn. Alright, Bertrand realizing that he can't seem to get these things' attention, he's going to drop his shield and okay. swing at this thing two-handed. You got it. For 27 to hit. Oh, that oh. absolutely hits. For six slashing. Six slashing damage. As you cut into this thing, you carve into it. It still looks like it's strong. It still has life. I gotta swing again. Oh, crap! Natural 20, baby. Nice, 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 nice. Go ahead and roll damage. For 10. 10? I'm so sorry. It is still alive, <laughs> just barely. As you cut into it, striking through its shaft and carving up the clavicle where a neck should be, this creature is still holding itself together, still fighting, but it looks like it's on its last legs. All right, that is Bertrand's turn. All righty, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. All right, one... Bless That's you. you. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, one more should finish this off. He's... He's going to point his finger guns, and he is going to use... Fuck it, another chromatic orb. This time, more lightning damage. You got it. He's going to go... 16. 16 hits. All right. Let's zap to the extreme. Yo! Oh, 17. Oh! 
17. Oh my god, you made my math so easy. Thank you. As you <laughs> launch out lightning, it again crackles against it. Nyx, you just see like... It's like it's like aluminum foil in a microwave, but it's inside of this creature's core as the lightning crackles across its body right in front of you with the silhouette of Thaddeus in the background standing proudly with a finger pointing. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 gonna... for your wild magic. Oh yeah, that's right. He's gonna like dramatically turn his cape and go... Nice. <laughs> and you're fine. Alrighty, Thaddeus, does that end your turn? Uh, he's gonna... Uh, yeah, that's gonna end his turn. He already he already turned around and, like, did the cape flip, so he's not gonna move. You're good. Alright, that brings us top right. of the turn order. It is now the enemy's turn. Uh, Wisp, the one in front of you is gonna keep going for you. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna miss for the first attack with a nine. But it's oh, yeah. gonna swing a second time. Uh, significantly better, a 23. Yep. You take 11 points of bludgeoning damage as it slams up against you. Nyx, the one next to you, is also going to swing and aim towards you as well. Sounds about uh, right. Guess what number it is? 22! So 22! How the hell? <laughs> Stop nice angels grouping. That I should have charged. <laughs> Uh, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage on the first swing. I'll use a different dice for the second swing. I'll take it. I'll risk. I shit that, you that, not. It's another twenty-two. <laughs> 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 oh god, are you uncanny dodging that one? Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, I didn't uncanny dodge the first one because it didn't seem like as much damage as previously. So I figured I'd risk it to see if there was more damage for the second hit. All right. And another one. Uh, no. yep, it's going to be more damage as it's going to be an 11 points of damage. Yeah, I'll uncanny dodge that one. Alright, you got it. <laughs> Connor's like, 21, uh oh. <laughs> no, 22. Alright, that ends the enemy's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. God, you gone, son of I'm gonna shoot a ray of frost to the one on the south. Uh, you may have to move for that. I'll move diagonally. Here. Yeah, there you go. Clear spot right there. Go for it. With a 12. 12. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you have that thing? You have that thing, yeah. I have the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah! 15, yeah. that hits. Go no damage. Thank you. That's not, that's not. Nope. I click this other thing. <laughs> there we go. Nine cold damage. Nine cold damage. How do you want to kill this thing? By hey. pressing it to the point that it just looks at me in the eye and I smile and just it falls apart. It sprays into Arctic dust as it is slain. Oh, oh, cold. And vanishes. Cold. Oh, cold. And I'm gonna use my, I think it was like five more feet of movement just to move a little further away from the other one. <laughs> yeah, you skirt away from it. Hey, focused on me. I think you're okay. Yeah, one more. Let's do this. Alrighty. That ends Lionel's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn with one of these creatures remaining. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, okay. Probably a good idea. Uh, just uh, first level cure wounds on myself. You got it. For nine. Get healed for nine. You got it. And I can move the 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 mace twenty feet closer to. You sure can. That square there. And I'll run over and be like. It like floats over like the Jetson noises. <laughs> I'll just run over and just be like, Bert, I think you're gonna have to tag in. Go, go help Nix. All right, that ends Wisp's turn. Nix, it is now your turn as you are locked in grand melee with this creature. Me, I guess I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. I will. Surprise, surprise. Rapier. All right. That hits. <laughs> Eight and piercing. Sneak attack. Ooh. Not bad. 24. You strike, like, vital to these very key vital points, and while it's not doing a ton of damage, it is still hitting true as you strike into this creature, and it is beginning to look a little haggard. 
Guys, I, I think I'm finally starting to get to it. Wait, it's not dead? He's gonna look over his shoulder. Nope. Look, I don't have magic, okay? It, it what takes the? a lot. Nick says he's following started. this thing. He's got this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying, okay? <laughs> is that end your turn, Nix? It is my turn. I, I would like to cry as a free action. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, Bertrand, it is now your turn. Uh, Bert will give a nod as he tearfully runs to try and aid Nix. You got it. And he's swinging with both of his hands, 20 to hit off. That hits. For oh! 14 points. 14 points of slashing damage. Again, it resists it, but it's such a large swing, it does a decent chunk of damage. Alright, uh, and he's going to swing again. You flip the blade hit. over and slash true once more. That hits. For 13 oh, slash. For 13 points of damage. Not bad. The it is, yeah, the really problems. starting to look rough now. That ends your turn, Bertrand. That is Bertrand's turn, yes. All right, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. The snake still not. I did the dramatic. Oh, fine. If that's how it's going to be, he's going to stand right here. And how about you eat this instead? He's going to point his finger and he's going to use a third level lightning bolt. Okay. All right, here we go. It, pa it needs to pass a dex 15 or it takes all of this. You got it. 38. Oh. Uh, no, it fails. <laughs> that takes that. <laughs> How do you explode this thing? Hey! All right. hey. He's just gonna, he's gonna do what he intended to do last time. He's gonna shoot the lightning, do the cape turn wait, as it explodes, and, like, sh blow his finger guns. As it vanishes into dust before you. Wait, there's no explosion? Well, that's quite disappointing. I wanted there to be an explosion. I was Where's told there would be an earth-shattering kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> Where is the kaboom? Bah, whatever. Is everyone all right? Bah! I've been better. <laughs> oh, God. The game is dead. Ghosts. I believe Lionel took the brunt of the damage. Are you quite <laughs> all right? He's going to look over. I mean, it definitely took more damage than I'm used to, but, uh, I oh, was to stand and... I haven't been touched... Good. I haven't been touching this dungeon in days, and now it's just one encounter. <laughs> oh. Eh, yeah, you get used to it. He's gonna, he like, dust it. To be fair, I think you had this one coming, Lionel. What do you mean I had this one coming? What you did are I so, do? You're so cautious with everything we run into, and the moment we find some art gates with some sexy elves on them, you had to go and touch it. I, I was making a joke. And then, <laughs> I didn't expect those things to actually activate like that. Actually, they didn't even activate. We were attacked. If we were attacked because you activated it. Is the, did the gate react at all? Or no, was it... neither of the gates well, are, have reacted. There are two, by the way. There's one to the north and one to the south. And the one to the south is the scantily clad elf one. Yeah, so th that was not even the gate. That was, those things were just waiting here. Mm, well, Can I investigate I them? Are they actual art gates or, like, decorative? Yep. They look to be art no. gates. And even where you see, like, the lightning bolt explosion, like... The ground around it has definitely taken damage, but the art gates themselves remain untouched. Also, uh, I pick up uh, Bert's shield and come return it to him. The northern gate, as you look at it, Nyx, uh, is decorated with inlaid images of dancing goblins. Notably, there is a framed portion at the top of the art gate that has the letter D carved into it. A uh, plate with the letter D carved into it. Yep, surrounded by uh, inlaid images of dancing goblins. Oh, um. Wait. I'm pretty musically inclined. Um, does it want us to play a song? They're dancing. The other one had us dance. Yeah, I mean. They had a song that begins with a D? And this is Dwarven Ruin, maybe like a Dwarven song? Or you could. I mean, I I don't have any instruments. <laughs> I mean, I do. Yeah, if you want to try. But I know any dwarven songs. That is up to you to decide. It could just be the chord. <laughs> like, do you know a D chord? Yeah, 
I mean, I could try that too. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah. A B chord? Yeah. Well, there's an yeah. A chord, a B chord, and a C chord, and so and so on. For every letter of the alphabet. You didn't know this? I don't know none of that. I'm not a musician. G, A, B, C, D, E, You know, I'm not the musician. I'm, this is, this is outer Nick talking. Oh. <laughs> What's to go up and play a D chord? <laughs> uh, we'll play a D chord on my lyre. You guys are geniuses. I am so impressed by you guys. <laughs> The gate opens for one minute if a creature stands within five feet of the arc and either sings a D note or plays a D note on a musical instrument. Hey. You guys are smart. And yeah, sure enough, as you do, the gate. That was all me. Up. Well, before we go through it, do we want to check out the other one? Yeah, we can yeah, do that. Yeah, that's the one I'm, I'm curious about. enter into my notes how it opens. Yeah. I'm not going near those well, things. I've had my encounters with doors before. So you disappeared for a little while. You came back. These gates are. I am still not over it yet. Lionel, so the southern the, the southern arc gate is carved in the form of scantily clad elves, one male and one female, and one is holding. Uh, and both of them are holding fingers to their lips in a gesture of silence. Um, I do the same. Hmm? The thing, I, I do the gesture of uh, silence. Nothing happens. No? No sussing? Nope. Nothing happens. If we all sit silent well, yeah, for like yeah. a minute or something, do you think maybe? I mean, then again, it's a dungeon, so I feel like it's usually quiet. Well, maybe there's also a requirement that needs to be a person near it. Is there no other? Is there no other uh, sigil around, like where we usually see the symbols? Is it just nope. the carving of the elves? It is just the carving of the elves, and their their fingers pressed to their mouths in a in a gesture of silence. Okay, let's Keep get quiet. close and just be quiet for like a minute. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds pass. Thirty seconds pass. Sixty seconds pass. Nothing happens. Mm. Oh, do I need to also put down my trousers? What does this? What does this mean? <laughs> yeah, somebody. This is when the Duragars will find us. They'll walk around the corner as you know Lionel is undressing in front of this art <laughs> gate. <laughs> I mean, I'm losing nothing. I don't wear armor. I, can I like find to imagine naked. like all you guys are like kind of standing around him with like your arms on your waist, just kind of seeing what he's doing, and then he's taking off his pants, and then Durgar turned the corner, and just all of you slow turn and look at them, and then Durgar just kind of gently back away. <laughs> you guys, you see scantily clad elves holding their fingers in a motion of silence. Can I roll an intelligence check? Sure. I, what? I am very mm. tempted on just all the seventeen. Gates. Don't have a clue. Right. How scantily clad are them? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> the one elf, I, that... the male elf is only wearing a loin cloth. You know, his chest ah. is out; it's all chiseled. The female elf has got some some big gazonga goombas. You know what oh, I say? You know what I mean? Wow, Yeah. That Canadian sling? Yeah. Specifically a cool uh, Tyler. Okay. And Nick will Let lean into the gate and just go, be shh. Before. Anything? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, be before, before I try to take, take off my clothes, uh, what if both Nix and Lionel just hold their fingers to their mouths in the motion of silence? Maybe you need the male and female? Okay. You guys do so. Nothing happens. Nothing. Okay. Last attempt. I'm not getting undressed with you. That's up to you. That's <laughs> just me. That's just me. Just down to my trousers. All right. You you, you strip Lionel. <laughs> I have nothing you, to hide. In the words of 14, do you strip down to your small clothes? I small I strip down to my small clothes, okay. Manderville style. Nothing happens. Damn it! I stand there with I'm in, in just in my trousers, pondering. <laughs> what? He's just there standing, pondering if it's Hank Hill ass. Hmm. So I've got an idea, but I don't think it'll work, and I don't want to waste a spell. Because all the gates we've come across so far have been, like, super easy, or, like, super 
like kind of cost free. Oh, you think this? Do you think this is a signing spell? Maybe, but I don't want to waste a spell if it's not going to work. Because hmm. they've all been like, play a note and just do a dance. It's like pretty there relatively another... cost free. I don't think there it's going to work. There was another one that requires a creature, so I will not put it past that it requires a spell. Either way, I think uh, this one might be a dead end for now. Oh, come, oh, come on, you can try it. I'm running kind of low. It's science, mm. dude. Don't you like science? If I do it, though, like, we have to commit. We have to go through. Because I don't have a lot of those. I've but I also really want to explore the rest of this floor. So, I mean, we could always just try and come back. Um... We can put that in the, the maybe pile. Like, next time we're here, we'll try it. Or when we're done on this floor, we'll come and try it. Yeah. Do we want to peek through the other art gate to see where it goes, or...? Sure. The real question is, who wants to peek through it? We have a maybe pile. <laughs> Do we want to draw straws? Whoever, you know, picks the shortest straw goes through. I mean, I can go in. I'm I specifically care. in the no pile. I'm already halfway naked. <laughs> this is a formula for we... success. Do we want to take a short rest before we op go through the portal? Because I, I know I some of us are short on... <laughs> Alright, you guys want to take a short rest? rest be... You guys sure. go ahead and take a short rest. I'm going to use the bathroom super quick. Well, you guys I'm also that. going to use the rest. Thank you. I might as well then if we all are. I'm gonna roll some hit I'm dice. I'm gonna use uh. three hit dice. Bada bing. I rolled I'm going one. to pet a cat. Wow, I gotta do this one at a time. Three. Okay, Four. let's do it. How are we doing, chat? So that's 19. Not bad. Your hit dice are so much more than mine. <laughs> Did it apply the healing already? Shit. Hmm. Yeah, it only took me five hit dice, but I got there. Hey, Boo Radley, how's, uh, how's Thaddeus mm -hmm. doing on spells? Uh, Still... Doing pretty good. Pretty so good. good. Like, he's all, he's out of his fifth level slot, but he's got plenty of others, so it's cool. That's good. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where my health was, so I can... Oh, God. Uh, that was... Are we technically allowed to interact with chat now? Because we're waiting for Monty. Yeah, whenever it's a break, we just open okay. up chat. How you doing, chat? Playing the new Sonic. Has anyone has oh, anyone played the Sonic here? The new Sonic? I have. Uh, is it good? Pretty good. I hate this the third island though. The third island can go fuck itself. So is it what you'd call an actually like a good Sonic game, or would it fall into the category of like you know you know that pile of Sonic games that everybody knows of that is not well, the best, but is... well, <laughs> Here's the thing, the pile of, of bad Sonic games are the piles I enjoy. Uh, mm -hmm. But I feel like like general consensus is it's a good Sonic. It's a fine Sonic. It's not mind blowing, don't get me wrong. But people are people can enjoy it. It's an enjoyable game. Yeah. My childhood console was a Sega Genesis and we had it for the longest time. Same. So the most of a Sonic game that I know is like the Sega games on Genesis, so <laughs> It's, the crazy thing is the best part of the game is running around in the open world, in my opinion. Just dicking around, doing whatever you want, doing the little funny rails and speed boosty sections. Mm. The quote-unquote levels are the worst part of the game. <laughs> oh, wow. In my opinion. The funny thing is, I, I don't even do them. I can get the yeah. keys that I need out of them. Yep. They are completely I, optional. I... I... <laughs> I, I do them just because I'm like, ah, eh, it's a little change of pace, but I'm usually like, okay, I've done it once, I'm good. <laughs> like, oh, I beat it. Or like... No need, and there's no pressure to S rank it. Mm hmm. There is one thing, however, that I'm gonna let people know if they want to play it. 
Apparently, the, there's a true ending you can only get in hard mode. Oh, wow. Hey, I've been playing on hard mode. Yeah. I was like, I'm a gamer. I can do hard mode. All right. Is everybody good to keep going? Yep. I'm yep. back. I right. healed myself up. I don't know if anybody oh, else yeah. wanted to heal. Nice. Yeah, I, yeah, I am going to heal. I actually need to Probably heal. Probably. I heal a lot. Should make sure we don't get, like, attacked before the short rest goes off. Nah, it's fine. Before we apply that. I didn't use all my hit dice. I guess I could use more if I wanted to heal my temporary hit points, too. <laughs> Good enough. Got most of my health back. Oh, I healed perfectly, actually. Because to me. Also, during the short rest, um, Wisp will hand you a single healing potion like the one you used on me. You can keep that for sure. party emergencies. Yeah. But I have spells that can do this. Okay. It's better. Although, if you know what? We split them. You know what? Yeah, I'll I'll take it. Just in case you go down, like last time. Yeah. It's just yeah. a bog standard two d four plus two. So I have two in that. Okay, I vote we all roll like a d twenty, and whoever rolls the lowest has to go through the gate. <laughs> I like I can, that. I can go. No, I, I have no no reason not to go. I you don't want to leave it up to chance. No, nah, I feel pretty <laughs> confident of going. He wants the boon or bane. That's yeah, true. I feel, he like... Want... <laughs> I feel like the second Bertrand like sniffs it, he's gonna get a bane. He'll get like three banes at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. We would have our first bane be on Bertrand. <laughs> okay. So I think Wisp, we're gonna have you play play a D chord again. Yeah, I'll step up and. Play a D chord. Okay. The gate immediately fills itself and it is now traversable. Whatever you do, don't get lost in the ethereal sea. Worst time of my life. Hey, it's okay. I don't have any issues outside the game. Let's go. All right. You're on through first, Lionel? Yep. All right. You guys watch as Lionel leaps inside. One second. Lionel. Oh. Mm. Actually, better question. Bracky, have you ever seen um, sensory de deprivation tanks? Yeah. Was it like the water that you floated and like everything is kind of removed? It's so claustrophobic. You find yourself floating on your back in the middle of nothing. And you're kind of shocked and surprised. But you feel... While you don't feel anything, you do feel a presence, to, like, known to you. A feeling of being watched. Hearken oh, to no. me. Hearken to me, adventure. The link between this gate and the next is much too powerful for you. And such it is my mercy I shall cast you back from whence you came. Return when you are stronger. And you feel yourself shunted back. And you guys watch as Lionel is like gently tossed out of the art gate and lands on the ground. Oh my god. Holy shit. We're too <laughs> underleveled. <laughs> oh my god. Blind XP. Oh. Are you quite all right? No, I'm not all right. I woo. See, now you know how it feels. Oh, we are not going in there. 
What is wrong with your strength? I don't know. A, a, a presence was talking to me. Said it, it basically saved my life. Oh, God. A presence, you say? That's quite yeah. different. Said we are not we are not strong enough to go through these gates. Mm. Did you recognize the voice? No, I don't think I did. Nope, not at all. It didn't even feel Never. like a voice. It just felt like something speaking to you, like, internally. Yeah. It didn't even really a voice, just, like, the message being drilled into my brain. Oh, by the way, the bombs definitely ran out from the short rest. You what? got it. The bomb. The involvement over. bond. Oh. It's only ten minutes. Yep. Okay. I'll go into that uh, one. Nyx, you look like you died for a second. I, I know, I went to click off the yellow and I clicked the <laughs> Oh no. I keep dying and come back. Life, death, oh, life, oh, death, life, oh, death. Oh, oh. Stop it, I'll take your privileges away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are we thinking? <laughs> so, more left, more right, and down. Yeah, I guess we can. Wait, are we not gonna keep? Wait, are we not gonna try the silence spell? I mean, or... we said that we could come back when maybe we're a little bit more stocked up on spells. I just don't want Musk to waste anything right now. We don't even know if it's gonna open it. I believe like, it's just it's a bit waste. I believe the prudent option we wait before we must long rest again, return here, and try to cast it then. At least then the we would know is, if it's gonna work. The question is where we go in the meantime. Hmm. Maybe kick her in the corner over here. Okay. I suppose I'll take a look down here. One second. Oops, let me erase oh. something. We're splitting the party. Oh mm. no! It's like Nick a lost puppy just... doesn't know where to go. Oh, oh god, they're going 30 feet apart from each other. Wisp is up here, so Bertrand would probably stay up here. And the mule. <laughs> wow, Shay, way to fucking play someone else's character. I'm just Damn. saying, you know, he usually hangs around the mule and Wisp. We all know it's true. <laughs> Jesus lord. Okay, tell us how you really god, feel. That was science, jeez. If he wants to deny it, he can deny it. But I haven't heard anything, so... Nyx, as you enter inside to the north you hear giggling and footsteps as someone dashes away from your eyesight oh shit wasn't creepy at all but it also makes me incredibly curious guys I think we should go this way hold a moment <laughs> he's gonna like peek around this corner Bertrand knowing yeah. that when Nick says that uh, that's her excuse that she could just leave without any further uh, here to wear, so he's just gonna fall. Can you measure her. 60 feet down, please? Uh, yeah. Give me one second. We'll put so the child on. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. There's a much longer hallway down over here. But there's fun up here. <laughs> what fun? fun? Excuse me, he's gonna go back around the corner. What do you mean by fun? I mean, somebody was laughing, so that's gotta be fun, right? That is not a fun image. <laughs> and they ran away before I could even see them, so, like, that's exciting, right? That is not only, it, it is quite exciting, but it also it is also very dangerous. I, I don't think you know this correlation yet. If they were laughing and before running away, perhaps they laid a trap. Oh, that they're is... laughing and running, they're giggling, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yes, that's quite fun. Can I per perception check for traps laid be left behind? Go for it, yeah. Reality situation is that everything here is dangerous. Oh, 28. Well, I mean... Uh, 28? You do not see yeah. any traps, no. I don't see any traps. I think it's fine. Well, yes, everything is dangerous here, but that is, seems especially dangerous. I mean, we spent an hour just chilling here, and they clearly either found us while we were resting and didn't do anything or Nyx, just happened as you turn and peek around the corner you hear giggling here and it immediately dashes down southward 
I, if this goes in a circle, maybe you guys wait here and I'll go around. That sounds like a totally smart plan that won't get anybody injured whatsoever, right? What is going? What is wrong with you? <laughs> this is, this is the above game plot. This is gonna be the fucking layers of fear, baby, running into the wall. Look, I'll take Bertrand with me. You guys stay here, okay? <laughs> this is not wise. Like, stay there. Bertrand just voluntold. I, uh, Bertrand, no, Bertrand's <laughs> chasing Nyx with the child leash. <laughs> come back, come back. All right, Nyx, once again, as you turn around the corner. You hear giggling from this corner, and you hear dashing footsteps again. Oh. Hey, Bertrand, go! <laughs> We've cornered it. Bertrand, like, just misses lassoing Nyx with the child. <laughs> you see nothing. But there's a hallway that leads to the south. Investigation? Uh, more perception. Perception? Okay. And measure 60 feet down, please. 26. Mm -hmm. 26. You do not see any traps. Okay, guys, I think um, it went down this way. What did? The, the giggling. The thing the, we were chasing. It's a body the voice. Giggling. want to follow the giggling. Catch up. You guys are too slow. You guys are the one What the fuck? You need to <laughs> slow down. Like, ah, oh, God. Did you give her sugar? Of course not. I don't, we don't even have any sugar here. I'm still running oh, on bitch. adrenaline from, like, you know, getting half of my hit points knocked out of me, you know? <laughs> you know how that yeah, Well, the first thing I want to do with adrenaline is get injured. <laughs> <laughs> the, the benefits of not feeling the pain. Uh, it's, you see, it's fight or flight, and she's just in fight. You see some ambient light coming from this direction, Nyx. Alright, is there anything on this side? There is, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a dark hallway. Seems to turn off to the south. Well, there's some glowing light this way, so obviously. Mule's having a chat with the spiritual weapon over here, so. Yeah, they're vibing. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, reminds me. And I believe your spiritual weapon does go away. Oh, yeah, it's a minute. I'm just going to hide the... You guys have moved quite a bit, so I'm just going to hide your previous location here. Mm -hmm. Give me a half a second. Okay, though, because we have the map. Bam. The faster you advance, the more you need to draw. Yeah. Well, hey, I got to say, this was the easiest time I had drawing a map since I, was... I think we left the second floor. I was going to oh, yeah. say, this is, this is good for you because it's not that terrible. Yeah, drawing this map was like... Compared Ugh. to floor three, I'm sure this was great. Good times, man. Good times. All right. Give me one second. I'm just revealing here. Measure 60 feet down for me, Nix. I'm going to be really sad if they attack us after all this. when your master laughs. <laughs> Ooh. You see something. I don't know what that is. Guys, I see something. Can I perception check now? See if there's a trap or anything in there? Sure, go for it. Uh, also, I checked to reveal this whole space because it is glowing because it's got these quartz pillars. Okay, 22. 22? You kind of perceive around. You don't see anything. I don't see anything, but I'm curious. Okay, can we tell what this is? It is a pipe organ. Ooh. 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 And it looks as though the pipes are carved out of stalagmites. Mm. That is cool. It's metal. 
Two large copper kettle drums stand against the west wall, and resting atop them is a shiny brass tuba. Whiskey, the music room. Do you make anything of this other than the music room? It's the music room. <laughs> additionally, the music room. additionally, in the eastern wall, you see another arc gate. Oh my goodness. This is the arc gate floor. So many arc gates. It's too many. Gosh. We only explored, like, much of this floor. It's probably loads. Well, I'm going to go and inspect the instruments. They look like they've been used recently or anything like that? No. Um, the... So you're looking at the organ first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's monstrous. Uh, and it looks dusty and has not been touched. I will investigate the art gate. <clears throat> Carved into the Ark's keystone is a hand-shaped indentation with a sigil representing magic scribed into the palm. So it's got a sigil carved into the palm of the hand? or So on the keystone is a carving of a, a hand-shaped indentation with a sigil in the middle that represents magic. Um, I think this is for you, Thaddeus or Lionel. I think, I think this is up more your alley. Oh. Well then, let's take a look. And this is over by where Nyx was, right? Yeah, right where Nyx is on the eastern wall. Hmm. All right. Hey, Bart. Then. Bart. Yes. I play it. What? Do you think I should play it? What would if you Nick play? could hear you, she'd say I yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played like a, a piano or an organ in such a long time. Could be fun. Hey, if you could think of a jolly tune that would uh, lift our companion's spirits, then sure. It's going to be not great, but sure. <laughs> Depressing <laughs> pipe organ music. <laughs> yes. Funeral, <laughs> yes. More uh, like a funeral. You guys do your thing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing this. Do it. Yeah. All right. As you press the keys, the sound it fills the room, but you also hear echoing far away, identical sounds at a far distance. Hmm. It fills the room with a low, earthy tone as you press the keys. But it plays what I intended? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Can we tell where the other sound is coming from, or is it like just an echo? Like It's an echo at a far distance. You have no idea, but it seems to be like there's a almost like a... Like... What's the word? Like matching sound elsewhere. Does anybody know how to play the tuba? No. What? Let's play the tuba. Okay. As If I look at my chart, performance requires charisma, so I think Thaddeus should try it. <laughs> <laughs> but you need proficiency <laughs> with, the, with the instrument, though. Don't get scared, horse. <laughs> Let me hunt. I'm, quite <laughs> I'm not really talented in the musical department. Just try oh, it's it. Easy. It's easy. Just, 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 I'm just trying to imagine someone using, like, perching their lips to blow a horn with tusks. As you look at the tuba, <laughs> it's actually myth. Uh, it's actually missing its mouthpiece. Oh well, there you go. Can't say you, you found no, the mouthpiece. Nick, Nick pulls it out. And she's like, "Look, I <laughs> took it from before." <laughs> I told you it was just like one of those like click and search adventures, like Chekhov's mouthpiece. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I suppose if it's there, then all right, then hand it over. 
Where did you pick that up again? No. I did pick it up again. It's in my inventory. I will. No, no. Where, where did you pick it up? I don't remember. You guys the, found that yeah. in the temple where the the yeah. two armor or the two piece things of armor that almost killed Wisp were yeah, guarding. Yeah. 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 Anyways, we attach that. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Just give me some distance, just in case. He's gonna go to the center. Oh, distance. Here, I'll just okay. play like a very basic like chord pattern. Just try to play along. Right then. Do you want to embolden Should him so he does that. better? <laughs> <laughs> I am capable of emboldening myself. It's called confidence. Uh, I'm gonna now hide behind mule. Now then. Let, now then, let's begin this duet. He's gonna put his lips up to the, th uh, to the thing and get ready to blow. It's gonna sound like the fucking uh, Jurassic Park theme played on a melodica. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> sound like trombone simulator. One second, sorry. I'm just reading. Just, I just imagine that me with the pen. Even if nothing happens, I want us to roll performance checks to see how good we are. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, both of you roll performance checks for me. And oh, use your inspiration boy. if you do bad. Because what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, damn. All right. Oh my Here god. Go. Come on, skeleton hands. I need, I need inspiration. I need inspiration. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> inspiration! <laughs> Are you gonna use inspiration? Do yeah, do I reroll? Oh, come oh. on, that would be so funny. Sure. Or you, if you want to, if you want to spend your inspiration on that, you can. Yes, Hides please, of I'm chaos. Not of that All right, mark it off. <laughs> 12. Better. All right, it's, Better. it's. First of all, this tuba produces a deep, distinctive sound that is low and rumbles the lungs. The organ gives off a grand sounding, like, ha, da, 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 like, really proud, deep sound to it, as well as that the earth itself is singing. Hmm. And as you play, hmm. Lionel. Uh oh. <laughs> you feel a knife around your neck. As oh, shit. You are facing towards this organ, a group of Durgar hearing the sound of the organ comes around the corner and not only that Nyx behind you coming out of invisibility I can't next believe to you guys you, ruined a perfectly good performance hello gentlemen I need everyone to roll initiative please oh, no. <laughs> how could this have backfired hey wait a moment <laughs> You, your lovely organ music uh, definitely alerted some uh, organ some music stops. Yeah, you don't say. Yep. I, I don't care. It was worth it. We needed to play <laughs> our musical instruments. Playing loud music in a place that is infested with Durgar. <laughs> so a idea. What the Durgar unfortunately do get a surprise round off because you played the, uh. the organ. I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm dead. Didn't you heal? You're okay. You're fine. Do you see how many doors are around me? Maybe you have the mule. Yeah, the mule does block technically. They can't go through the mule. Just the mule can end attack have... opportunity if they move past. We have yeah. mule advantage. Sorry, I'm just grabbing your battle music here. Give me one second. I gotta grab my Durgar statues. Now they're all distracted by my lovely playing, right? Oh, uh, they right? look pissed. Right? Um. They Wait, look like also they're puffing as if they probably ran here. Mm. <laughs> how much gold does Wisp earn for that performance? Uh, guess what? <laughs> you know what? We'll find out. Bertrand, you just Bertrand you, will you, pay you just put a single gold coin <laughs> yeah. behind me. Give me one second. I just gotta number these guys real fast. Just where I need a knife. That's fine. It's Hattie. It's just kill them all in one hit again. Oh, gladly, if I can. <laughs> All right. I'm proud of us, Nyx. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> Nyx has zero regrets right now. I just want to tell you this. She does not regret charging headfirst into this room and playing these instruments. She also feels very vindicated in the fact that the mouthpiece was actually, you know, you know, returned to its instrument, so. 
We indicated the wine. No one wants to go bling while you're because, drinking it. Well, no, because Bertrand was going to leave it as an offering and she picked it up, you know, because she... <laughs> out ah, of good. Hope. good thing you stole it. Now you're getting attacked. And, um... yeah, yeah, that's an important distinction. Bertrand wasn't trying to leave an offering. Bertrand left it as an offering and you took it. <laughs> I needed to know that we could find what it belonged to and we did, okay? And that is that is all that mattered. It's fine. It's actually just a blade of grass. Yeah. You hear that twitch? <laughs> theft is okay so long as you have a purpose for what you're stealing. Yeah. Who says yeah. it was theft? We don't know if it was an offering. God, it was just dropped there. God help Who me would... if Shay ever plays a Kender. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, I never want to roll in the shiv, please. Oh, you already did. Okay. We did. Oh, shit. All right. Bird. Bird's inspired by the music. Bert was you might be surprised, but we are ready. I will say then, uh, Bertrand, because of the natural 20, you are not surprised. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it changes the... I was thinking about, okay, where are they going to move? And then, now, Bertrand, I assume, does he go first? You do. You get top of the turn order. But give me a okay. second here. i got to write down the rest of the initiative. Sure. Actually, I'm gonna roll for the mule. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, Holy it might shit. need to move. Holy shit, Is it a natural 20? Uh, no. It just rolled really high. Damn. I was like, it was meant to be. Alright, and then we have Thaddeus. And we have... Nix. So, they enemies get a surprise round, because they snuck up on you guys. But, Bertrand, you immediately are, are set to alarm as this happens, as these two Durgar next to you come out of invisibility with, with weapons drawn. The rest also come out of invisibility, turning the corner, surprising all of you. But, Bertrand, you immediately kind of use that martial instinct that you have, and it is your turn with the natural 20. Give his friends to attention! And he's going to move over there, which is exactly 30. And, you got uh, it. Using two handed sword again, he's going to swing at the one that has a knife to uh, Lionel's throat. Yeah, he's got like his arm around Lionel and is going to stab him. And you manage to come up and parry him out, and yeah, that hits. 24 to hit. For 11 slashing. For 11 slashing, you slash into this Durgar right in the gut, and he kind of ah, spits out a noise, and he kind of looks up to you and goes, So you are the ones we were warned about! Is he going to cough some blood and smear it across his face? Uh, he is then going to try and slash downward for the second attack. That hits. Goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, nine slashing. Nine slashing. Yeah, he looks really rough. All right, that is Bertrand's turn. That is Bertrand's turn. It is the surprise round. It is now the enemy's turn. Uh, uh, you, you, you did not... Two-handing? I'm two-handing. Just, by the way. Okay. Just make yeah. sure. Um, you do get an attack opportunity from the Durgar you, you fled from. I will take it. Oh, no, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, no, no, he, he doesn't yeah. swing it. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, with the war pick, that is going to be a 17. That's exactly a hit. Sorry. That's all right. You do take... I dropped the shield. You did drop the shield. Uh, you take... Uh, four points of piercing damage. I'm, I'm hearing an end. Nope, just four points of piercing damage. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was an additional little caveat I was reading ahead to, but it, it doesn't apply here. Alrighty. It is still the enemy's turn now. Nyx, the one behind you, is going to swing with their war pick. And actually, they're That's going right. to... They're going to move one side over. Uh... You're going to get big. It doesn't Like the ones say... we saw before. What action it takes. That's in, is it enlarge, reduce? I'm gonna look that up real fast just to see. It might be like a special racial ability that has its own action. You'd like my tobacco yeah. dash that's free? Yeah. Behold my embiggen. Embiggen. I just want to know if it's an action. It might be an action CC so works the same as large reduce, but yeah, yeah but, but check. It doesn't say in the stat 
sheet, which is interesting. It doesn't tell me. What the fuck? What? Oh, okay. Yes, it is an action. Hmm. All right. So the one behind you, Nyx. Goes bloop, 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 bloop. Grows in size. The one that's oh, swung off. at uh, the one that swung at Bertrand is going to charge you, Thaddeus, Ooh. and is going to swing with advantage with its war pick. Uh, natural twenty. Oh no! Oh. Uh, terrible rolls though on the on the dice. Good to know. You take seven points of piercing damage with the critical hit. Oh, not the worst. Um, I know my shins. Sorry, I accidentally drew a green. The one immediately in front of you, Lionel, is going to swing at you with its war pick. Oh, come on. With advantage, because you were a surprise. Yep. Surprise. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Ah, yep, and I cannot react because of surprise, so yep. I cannot even use shield. Uh, you take nine points of piercing damage. Nine. 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 Uh... The Durgar in front of you, uh, Bertrand, is going to swing. No advantage, because you were not surprised. Uh, that is going to be a 18 to hit. That's a hit. You take six points of piercing damage. Okay. This Durgar moves ahead here and is going to do the same thing to you, Bertrand. Okay. Uh, not as good. That is going to be a 16. That'll miss. All right. As he goes to swing, he managed to parry back the great pick. This Durgar stands back. Uh, yeah, you can't do too much. He yells at him. He goes, shove them through. Get in there. And that ends the enemy's surprise round. All the way through your guys' turn, you become unsurprised, and at the top of the turn order, Bertrand, it is now your turn, as the surprise round has ended. Uh, with an anger that it, Lionel may not have seen before, Bertrand's going to swing as hard as he can into the one that was still, that was trying to attack Lionel. You got it. Uh, two and swing. 22 to hit. 22 hits. Oh my god. Uh, five slashing. All right, you cut into him once more, slashing through his gut, but he kind of staggers backward, blood smearing across the wall behind him as he is still standing and kind of spits in your face angrily. Bertrand will try to stab with his second attack. You got it. For 13. 13 misses. As you go to swing, he brings up with two hands his war pick and blocks the sword strike. Uh, Bertrand's going to kind of like wipe the spit off and kind of look towards Lionel with some concern. Get behind the others! Mm-hmm. That's his turn. All right. That brings us to the enemy's turn. Mm. Lionel, I need you to make a strength uh, athletics check for me, please. Strength athletics? Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I may or may not be good at it. You got this. 19! 19! Natural 20, technically. You technically 19. lose, but it is a natural 20. As the dwarf next to you tries to shove you back, you manage to kind of bring up and grab and, like, kind of struggle with the war pick and, like, Ooh. keep, you know, stay your guard yeah. here, plugging this hole up. Oh, I, to get in. I, I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> the two Duragar next to you, uh, Bertrand, are going to swing at you with their war picks. Okay. First one on the left. Uh, that is going to be a 13, which does not hit. Correct. The second one, uh, that is going to be a 21, which I believe hits. That does hit, yes. All right. Uh, you take seven points of piercing damage. Okay. The one in front of you, Thaddeus. Mm-hmm. Bloop, 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 bloop. Gets big with its action. And the one next to you, Nyx, is going to swing with its war pick. That yeah, sounds about right. Natural 20 again, I shit you not. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. 
Oh, no, not karma. If I got a natural 20 against their last guys, it's, you know, returning the favor. You take 27 points of piercing Ooh. damage. As, like, with I'm so uncanny dodging that, you have no idea. <laughs> you got it. So half of that's so a 26, so that would bring it down to 13. As he just, like, golf batter swings you into the core of your stomach, Nyx. You kind of fly oh into the air goodness. for a brief moment and collide to the ground, staggering. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Lionel. It is now your turn. Huh. Okay. Sounds really interesting now, but... You said I can play more myself, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Just I'm remember, you use, your, you use your wizard's concentration if you get hit, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, you're right. I took on that is an odd. Wait, the, did you see the mule roll for initiative? It did, yeah. Is the mule going to fight? Yeah. Can you turn the mule into a giant ape? I mean. <laughs> okay, princess. <laughs> Smash. Was As I pull him the mule, in, the mule into is a giant ape. <laughs> I right. want you to imagine a monkey that doesn't have like fingers instead it has like hooves <laughs> and it has these long donkey ears like these long mule ears oh my right. God. Oh. but most importantly actually... most importantly Bracky did say princess and she responded that might actually be <laughs> she's never responded before I I just, I just I keep blocking the way and kill them, <laughs> and I am gonna Aww. move. It's going to have an attack opportunity on me, but okay. at least I'm not gonna be in the way. Uh, I think they're gonna miss. That's an eight. That misses. Yep, that misses. You turn around and run as you just hear the sound of the war pick colliding with the stone, cracking the foundation of the room. And that's gonna be my turn. All right, <laughs> Wisp, it is now journey. your turn. As you lift your hands off the organ keys and turn around, you now see a grand melee. The man oh in the back goodness. said everyone attack, and then it turned into a ballroom blitz. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I you're perfect. I will dash away from this and feel a little bad that I've kind of given away a position, but he was very lost in the music. Uh, I will... Same as last time, uh, emboldening bond. Um, everyone except Thaddeus this time. I'm sorry, Thaddeus. What? Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Do you want to bond the donkey instead of Bert? No, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> emboldening you this time. That would All be right. pretty funny. Also, I guess the donkey is not. And then I'm going to upcast spiritual weapon right here in this spot. Okay. To, I believe, level four. So let me double check that. Like my shitty spiritual weapon token. It looks like a foam sword you'd get it like a like a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, Someone thought it was funny. <laughs> I love the laughter. Whenever there's laughter in the background, Thaddeus laughs like on screen. It's really <laughs> funny. Uh, no, just just up casting to level three. Sorry, because it doesn't do anything between three and four. Okay, you got it. And it's uh, an eighteen. Eighteen. The guy. That hits. Yeah. And then he's uh, eleven damage. Eleven damage. Is it to the dwarf immediately in front? That kills him. How do you kill him? Uh, the mace just comes into existence, but it looks a little bigger than last time. It just smashes him straight into the ground. You got it. Like whack-a-mole from hell, his body crumples <laughs> to the ground dead. Alrighty, Wisp, is that in your turn? It is. Alrighty, it is now the mule's turn. Uh, the mule is going to attack the big Duragar, sandwiched between it and Thaddeus. Uh, I will say for this, uh, Lionel, if you would not mind rolling for the mules uh, oh, to hit sure. damage, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yep, just let me get the stats. Uh, it has flanking, so it has plus two, as it immediately rears up with its weird giant muscular hoof 
arms. That will be a d20 plus 9 to hit, so... This is, I think, our weirdest giant <laughs> ape yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 does not, not hit. The Duragar monster hunter rolls out of the way of the slamming attack, unfortunately, for not finding purchase. But I believe it has a second swing. Second it? attack? Yeah, yep. yep. We'll go for it. Get over wow. It. No. Wow. I'll roll severity. She's yeah. not used to being this. Massive right. inside. It's just a miss. It was she an 8, so it's training. just a miss. Yeah. She seems like a little bit like. King Kong, where she's not really aware of what she's able to do, and she kind of swings and thrashes violently, and the Durgar yeah, manages to nimbly arms. dodge. Quickly, get her a knife. <laughs> <laughs> her preferred weapon of choice. <laughs> her preferred weapon of choice, yes. Alrighty, that ends Emil's turn, unfortunately. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. That, that's perfectly fine. As this Durgar does his Dark Souls dodge roll, as he tries to get up, Thaddeus is going to point in his face. Looks like we're doing this again. Bang. He's gonna use a fourth level lightning bolt. Okay, where are you aiming at? Uh, aiming in this direction, perfectly aligned with these three. You got it. Alrighty, first Jurgar right in front of you. Dex save, you said? You, you know what? I'm also gonna be mean this time. I'm gonna use the same combo as last session. Bend luck to, like, impose a disadvantage. On who? On this guy. On the big Jurgar in front of me. The big Jurgar in front of you? You got it. Alright, so I'll start with him first. Alright. And I'll just empower this oh. just in case. Yeah, that is a failure for the big Durgar. The Excellent. other Durgar uh, rolled a natural 19, so that is a success. And then the one in the furthest to the back uh, rolled a 10, so that is a failure from him. Go ahead and roll Hooray! damage. Alright then, and I'm going to empower this, so let me roll the base damage first. Uh, let's see. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bing. I'm seeing a one, two twos Ooh, and a one. Man. I'm gonna reroll those. Uh, so you're gonna reroll the two twos and the one, so minus five. Yep. Okay, so that's twenty nine uh, plus whatever the new dice roll is gonna be. And here we go. Significantly better. Nice. That uh, is thirty nine points of damage. So. I think your last one did um, 40. Yeah, if I recall, yeah, that but it's like right. just lower. Good grouping. Sorry, I'm just doing math real fast. Pause for math. Pause for math. <laughs> Pause oh. for math. Uh, so that would Damn you, math. That amount. Okay. The giant Jurgar immediately in front of you explodes into gore. Oh. <laughs> as his body. <laughs> This one here uh, manages to kind of jump out of the way and out of danger, but still takes half of the damage. And this one? And that because the one in front of him jumped out of the way and didn't block the lightning bolt, he also explodes in the back. Thaddeus <laughs> <laughs> is going to call out to the back, Are we seriously doing this again? I can do this plenty more times. All right, is that end your turn, Thaddeus? Yep, that's all, that's the best position he could be in. You got it. All right, Nix, it is now your turn as you have a giant Durgar standing in front of you, and you are reeling from that critical hit. Man, that hurt. But... Also, shout out to Discount GM who just said this is a literal Donkey Kong. <laughs> God dang it! Some... That's not wrong. I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit that hurt, but if you're looking around, I gotta say, I think we have the upper hand. You should honestly just stop. Roar! He just roars and just reaches up with yeah. his, his war pick. I thought so. Um, have him roll a deception check for me. You got it. Ooh, I did not hit very well Ooh, on that. Ooh, it fails. He got a natural 20, unfortunately. Oh, so even if I had rolled high, probably. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just regular rapier him. God, it's so vanilla and boring. That right? hits, though. <laughs> that hits. 
five just regular vanilla boring piercing damage. Piercing damage. So Gosh, who are you? You think you know someone? As you stab him in the nipple. He oh, still no. has his. He, there's like a little spurt of blood, but he's rearing up his weapon to strike at you, Nyx. Does that end your turn? Yep. All right. Take means... it. Bertrand, it is now your turn. All right. Bertrand's going to swing at the one diagonal from him. You got it. Swing two handed sword. 16 to hit. Just meets their AC. Ooh. For 14 slashing. How do you want to kill him? Uh, he's going to, after seeing that one next to him explode in sort of a, a gory mess from the uh, the mace, he's going to try and bring the sword low and rise up to kind of almost bifurcate him diagonally. You got it. You bring it into, thrust it into his chest, and then like just wrench the blade up a good three inches and then pull it out as a spray of blood splashes across the wall. And with the same momentum, he's going to try and swing down on the Duragar just above him. You got it. For 27 to hit. Absolutely hits. For 13 slashing. Oh my god, dear lord. Do, do, do. Alrighty. That ends your turn, Bertrand. That's Bert. It is now the enemy's turn. The one immediately in front of you, Bertrand, is going to swing with its war pick. Reasonable. Natural one. Oh. I'm gonna roll severity. Uh... Okay, it's not super severe. Uh, go ahead for me and do an attack, and if this hits, you will do damage. As you parry back his blow and he swings down. 26 hits, go and roll damage. Nine slash. Nine slashing. You cut into him as he's unable to find purchase in the blade, and so you kind of stab him kind of in the armpit when he swings, and he's kind of like, ah! The one in front of you, Nyx, is going to bring down its war pick on you. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you, Nyx. I mean, it's better than a natural 20, so... I think I might take this damage for you. You take 12 points of piercing damage. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, appear next to you and just kind of, like, stick my arm out and take the hit. You got it. You take, uh... It was 12 points of piercing damage, Wisp. That ends the enemy's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn, as two Duragar mm -hmm. remain. Mm hmm. I'm gonna shoot the one. You know what? The one in front of Bert, Albert, uh, Bertrand. You got it. With a, a good old fashioned ray of frost. Ba Bam! 24. That hits. Go and roll damage. How Seems do you want to kill him? How do you want to kill him? Oh, just with it. focusing the, the frost in my fingers, aiming at the door guard, and as I shoot, just. You can't. <laughs> Like a, like a, instead of using the, the, the ray of frost itself, it just makes like a bit of a, what is it called? Like a, a knife of ice? You got it. Just go through his, his head. Just right through the forehead and he falls backwards dead. I just look at the other one going like, you know, if they warned you about us, you didn't take the warning very well. <laughs> Alrighty, Lionel, does that end your turn? Yep. All right, that brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. As you are standing before this frenzied and angry Duragar. I'll just swing out with the my silver short sword. You got it. Eh, that hits. Four damage. You slash him in the other nipple. Oh nice. god. And then I will kind of. Is there a way I can get flanking on either of these two spots for Nick? Uh, move uh, two over to the right, and you're good. Okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Just kind All of right. hold him here if he tries to run away. Like, just kind of a little bit in the way, but also trying to help Nick out. You got it. That ends your turn? I'll move the, like, 20 feet closer, even though it's not that big of a deal, because <laughs> I can't reach him. All right. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Go ahead, Lionel, and swing twice for the for the, for the mule. Awesome. Someone just came into chat and said, why is the horse big? <laughs> First of all, it's a mule. And second of all, She's magic. That's, horse. That's 18 She's, for the first one. 18? 18 hits. Okay, and just let me roll the other one just in case. He's also not just... Oh! oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, roll damage. So you find a big barrel one... and throw it at him. <laughs> the first one is 3d10, by the way, plus 6. It's the only way to take him out. So the first one does 16 plus 6. Okay. That's for fun, 22. for the fun of it, roll roll the crit as well. So that would be the crit. It just multiplies it, or do you? Is it double? Uh, it's double it's dice. The second, so, so the dice is double. Dice. Okay. So this would be roll. 60 10 plus. Roll. Crook return. Roar. Crook. Oh come on! No, nope. that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be that damage. Broke, that would blow burn. up the entirety of the Undermountain. I'm just gonna point that <laughs> out. Broke. Oh. And we're dead. We're all dead. Very well. Was too strong. Oh my god. This man is paced. <laughs> <laughs> just gives it like the backwards mule kick. He does, yeah. It, go it gores him to the wall, and as the body slumps to the ground, just like constant down B smashes, as it just is eventually just a pile of just chunk like smash 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 take the wallet smash 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 Eww. anyway good, good job <laughs> and i'm gonna pat her 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 leg yeah you pat a weird muscle leg we're just gonna move to that corner pull out the light which still has shield cast on it and make sure there's no more enemies coming down the hallway you got it are we gonna play more music I don't think we yes, should. As I much would... as I was getting into it, probably shouldn't. Well, I mean... If we set up and wait for enemies, then at least we'll know. Hey, I thought we had a pretty good start. Plus, we might as well see what this actually does. Let's just prepare ahead of time. I do have a good point, my dear Wisp. If we bring the enemies to us, we can attack them on our terms. <laughs> Before you do that, does anyone want to heal up a little. I got a few things I could spare. Good. You seen a little bit, yeah. Uh, that crit hit me for a lot. <laughs> well, I guess... Or... I could technically hold off, though. I mean, I did uncanny dodge it, so it's not like the worst. Here, I have a single cure wins. Okay. <laughs> for nine. Yay. Hooray. How about the healthcare cat? <laughs> oh, um... On your lightning bolt, did you roll the funny You check? did not roll your wild magic search. We'll just skip it for now, because we yeah. forgot. I love what a affordable turret cat. But I do need uh, I You should just make that kind of habit of Radley, like, every time you cast a spell, just be sure that you add that d20 roll, please. Oh, fuck, that's right. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. So my only caveat, if you're going to play a wild magic sorcery, you have to remember to do that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just keep constantly forgetting. <laughs> my bad. Uh, but it was a 14, so... Yeah, we skipped over it either way, but it's okay. Alrighty. There's a moment of calm after all the bodies slump and, like, chunks of brain matter from the one Duragar that was killed by the mule just slaws off the wall. The arc gate's fine, though. It's totally untouched. Oh, that's great. The mule kill count has risen to two. <laughs> that we that know, we know of. of. That we know <laughs> of. Does she feel, like, empowered by this? Like, is she actually feeling it right now? She's, like, flexing, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> really feeling it. Oh, I'm really feeling it. Do these Durgar have anything on them, or is it just their pickaxes? They it's might have more their... mythical. They just have their pickaxes. They have some javelins on them. And they're wearing, like, Durgar, like, scale mail sized uh, armor. And they also have shields on them, too. Nothing Nyx would really carry. Gotcha. Um, now that it's kind of quieted down, Lionel, I was wondering if you'd want to cast Detect Magic to see if maybe there was any magic on the instruments in here? Uh, sure. I'm gonna lose... Donkey Kong over here, but here we go. Yeah, I mean, we can take ten minutes for it, and eventually she'd have I... to turn back anyway, so... Well, I do I do need ten minutes, because I am out of first level. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, I guess my bond is gone if we're spending ten minutes. Yeah. We could set something up in the meantime, if, you, if we're gonna, like, have an encore or something. Pile all the bodies up in the hallway, that will definitely scare them off. Yeah, 
We put one as a scarecrow that says you're next. Uh, Bertrand's going to take the, the one of his canteens of water and he's going to use it along with the, the brush he has to clean the blood off of uh, the mule. You got it. <laughs> she seems to really enjoy it. Yeah. Princess, is that what you want to be called? Yeah. Does he get any inflections from that eel? Roll an insight? <laughs> <laughs> I will also. <laughs> Fuck. The inner works of her minor are machinations. Yeah, that's fair. That's a milk jerk truck. Oh! Or. 23. She seems <laughs> to like it. Yeah, I, I, I think this. Uh... They, they have a name now. And now that you named Bertrand. it, it's name gonna die. Name and a title. No. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see Bertrand smile in a way that he has seldom seen. It's somehow more sad when he smiles, but he's gonna... <laughs> I, he's know gonna exactly, like... I know exactly what your smile looks like. Hold on, I'm yeah. gonna picture real fast. Uh, whilst, whilst braiding Princess, he's going to... Uh, or cleaning Princess, he's gonna braid a few, like, uh, what's the, the main, right? Yeah. Top of the, yeah, yeah, gonna braid them. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> As Virgin <laughs> smile. Stock photo, old man. Here, I'll show it to, I'll show it to chat. So they can <laughs> oh see. yeah, that one. That's that's the smile. That's Bertrand's smile right there. No wait, I think I got one better. <laughs> he just looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like fucking Harry Dubois from Disco Elysium. Mm. Uh, after about ten minutes, your detect magic goes off. Uh, Lionel, again, similarly, you detect magic from these pillars as they do give off of divination as the light kind of fills the room. Light. None of the instruments give off any magical essence to the them. The instruments are nothing but bullshit. Oh, come on. No, d d don't insult instruments like that. This is a very grand piece of whatever it is. Well, it might not <laughs> be magical in itself. It might not be magical in itself, but it could be mechanical. Nix, can you look for any secret doors? I can perception check. Go for it. Uh, 17. Not my best, but... You scour around the room, and no, it just seems to be a music room, and it has the arcade, and that's it. Oh. Yeah, it mm. looks like a music room. But mm -hmm. hey, we never found that giggling, so we can keep going. I'm pretty sure the giggling was an invisible dwarf. Sorry, an oh, invisible no. door guard. I don't Leading think a door guard would move that. Uh... Lion, I don't think a Derek R would last. Yeah. Okay, hold on. There were two voices. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Voices in my head. Uh, Lionel, you said there were two. The pillars are magical, yes? Well, yeah, they give light. Oh. He's going to just look down to the tuba, but I want to play it again. <laughs> but, it um, take it with wasn't you. there a sigil on this art gate that you wanted them to check out as well? All right. Anyway. Oh, yes, that. <laughs> uh, oh god, another door. Uh, you take care of this, Lionel. Hmm? Uh, this arc gate is embedded in the eastern wall, uh, and carved into the arc's keystone is a hand-shaped indentation with a sigil representing magic scribed into the palm. Heart-shaped indentation with a sigil of a magic. Hand Wait. hand-shaped indentation. Ma oh, mage hand. hand. Mage hand. Yeah. By casting well, Mage Hand on it. Sure, I'll use Mage Hand. Okay. As you cast Mage Hand and you have the Mage Hand press into press its spectral fingers into the keystone, the gate <laughs> opens. Oh man. That's making oh, me goodness. think that the silence might work. Well, should we see if it's gonna toss us back out again? I'm going in. <laughs> Lionel, you're going in? Yep. Once again, Lionel, you oh, find God. yourself flo floating in the deprivation in between of some manner. Again, you feel that presence to you. Welcome again, adventure. Huh. Still not strong enough. You are not. Okay, I still backstroking. <laughs> and as you do, 
you find yourself back inside of back struck yourself back into the floor and you are back inside of this chamber same scenario as before Interesting. There's a lot of arcades here that require us to be higher level. Is that, is that, it happens if I, again, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask that boy the number. Good <laughs> lord. Try and get their name. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I am the voice. Well, nothing to do but track down the giggling. Do you take the tuba with next, you? <laughs> the, yeah. giggling was a, the giggling was a trap. It was one of the invisible door guard. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Can I roll an intelligence check to see if I, the giggling no. sounded like a dirt guard? No, that is up to you to figure out and decide. I'm not going to assist in this. <laughs> I don't that think it what... was a dirt. Nyx has decided that she doesn't think it was an invisible dirt guard. No! <laughs> uh, you you are taking the tuba, Thaddeus? No, of course I am. All right. going to be useful uh, for later. The tuba is 30 pounds. Just a heads up on that. Okay, uh, like Princess, you're plate. taking the tuba. He's gonna put it on the saddlebags. <laughs> okay, you're heading the tuba to the saddlebags? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Can she carry it? Yeah, like she's imagine, quite first I like to imagine you just put it around her neck because it doesn't really fit in the bags, and then she's just got <laughs> she a just tuba around her neck. It. Yeah. Ah, the... that's a perfect fit. Well, you just randomly hear it, and then you burn. <laughs> 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 only, <laughs> only when Thaddeus walks. I like to imagine you guys are, like, all settling in for sleep, and someone's on watch. You just hear... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of music there. Go ahead, later. Nix, and measure north and south. Okay. Make a musician out of you, yeah. I must say that was quite the uh, the performance you set off there, Wisp. Well, I I'm surprised myself. It's been a long time since I've played a, a piano or an organ. Well, then your skills speak for themselves. Be proud. You had a good performance. Except until it was interrupted. Yeah. Wish yeah. I could have finished that song. Can I perception check? See if um, I see Don't anything worry. or hear anything. 25? Uh, you do not hear anything now. Guys, I think we went the wrong way for the giggling. I think we have to go the other direction. <laughs> I'm starting to think the giggling wasn't real. No, it was real. And it wasn't the Durgar. Like, they ran to catch up with us. Did, like, they were out of breath. It, or did only Mix hear it? You guys all heard it. One. Okay. Yeah, not the invisible ones that were already in the room with us. Look, I just say we check the other direction, and if we hear more giggling, we can keep going that direction. If not, we could come back this way. Look, I, I, or... took, I took too much control in previous floors. I'm okay following you. Yeah. I cannot bear to see Nyx pout again if we deny her her curiosity. I will follow her. You mean, well, you like, when I went into, like, an avaleth because I walked off on the water? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, okay, we're, we're good to go back. You have to take magic up. If there's anything invisible there, you'd be able to at least know there's something invisible there, right? Even if you don't know where it is. I mean, the world told me that I didn't see anything with my high perception check, so I'm assuming... The war. <laughs> That's right, assume. Boom. Daniel World. Bertrand's gonna put the shield back on his back and follow Nyx. Okay. okay. We'll just take a peek around the other way. We can come back this way if you guys want. Alright. You guys are We're on... it's, really, it's really just Shay trying to find as much of the map to draw as possible. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, we, we agreed. This is gonna be our map to explore, so you know what? <laughs> We need to well... commit to one direction so we don't force Monty to open map and map. Okay. To be fair, oh, at no. least it's not that far. A bunch of dead bodies. Look at this has happened. Oh my god. Who made yeah. these? <laughs> Chew. Teleport. Okay. Go ahead and measure oh, CCB down. So we double check, right? They had no money on them? No. Okay. It's like picks, shields, and their armor. Do I hear any giggling? Uh, roll perception check. Oh, okay. Put the on. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 
two, twenty-five. Oh, no, no, twenty-eight. There we go. Twenty-eight. You do not hear anything. I don't hear any giggling. <laughs> Here, give me a second here. Let me go grab the your little bard entourage here. <clears throat> give me one second here. This looks to be a reliquary. Reliquary. You see that there are statues that are ruined on the floor. There are stone tablets on easels and elaborate dioramas on tables. And it looks as though someone has just crushed, like, just dropped them to the floor and smashed them. Somebody wasn't very happy in this room. Lionel, do you still have the, your detect magic up? As long as pizza hasn't been... If it hasn't been 10 minutes, I still have it. Okay. You detect a fucking sheet of illusion magic on this wall. Oh. Oh, that's a fake wall. You're a fake so I walk wall? to it. <laughs> Just fully confident it's not there and walk straight through it. I'm going to I'm going to lay my hand on it. Okay, your hand disappears through. Huh? Me now first. my face. <laughs> Me first. In the way of science, I'll shove my God, head in. Shay, you are so full of beans today. <laughs> what is up with you today? You're I don't sure. know. <laughs> I just, I'm feeling like I want to explore. I don't know. I'm back. in a good mood, okay? <laughs> full of beans. In the back, you see four display niches. And inside of each appears to be displayed four pieces of shattered jade that are encased behind glass, evenly spaced across this wall. Each one is four feet tall, one foot wide, and one foot dip deep, and is lit with an ambient magical light, which you also detect, uh, Lionel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so display cases of shattered jade. There's four of them, you said? Mm -hmm. They're like long, like one foot pieces of jade. Oh, like the gem? Uh, They're like long sticks of jade. I would say Thaddeus and Lionel make an arcana check here. Arcana. Ooh. What do we see with our magic eyes? Wow, I don't see anything. Natural one. You're 14. Makes sense. You're a sorcerer. This is this is wizard shit. Uh, yeah, idiot. You were. <laughs> oh, look at all that magical talent you were born with, instead of me with a uh, big wrinkly brain. Lionel, well, you... this is mm -hmm. clearly the pieces of a staff. Ooh. All split in multiple pieces. All split in multiple pieces. And when you look at this, it's not enough to make a whole staff. It seems to be part of something. Do we take it with us? Is there any trap magic on it? Well, we I'm could curious. slowly repair it with mending, you know, one piece at a time. I was curious about that one. Can can we find two pieces here that go together at least and see if we uh, can mend that? Roll an investigation check. Can I help out with that? Because I'm pretty good at investigation too. You're you're doing the, the funny jigsaw puzzle. So that would be the advantage. Monty. Sorry. It would be an advantage if, if Nyx is helping. I'll allow it. I could yeah. help. I'll allow it. 26. Okay. As you look at these pieces, the ones all the way on the right of the wall, the first two, those can be put together. You can kind of tell. The last two pieces can be put together. It's the middle that's missing. Hmm. I'm going to use Machen to pick up the pieces. <laughs> They're behind glass. All right, glass. Uh, hmm. Can the glass be removed? Yeah, like uh, if I try to pick up the glass and move it. 
It's like a frame, though. So it's a niche oh, it's with like a, a frame. frame. Yeah. I didn't know what a niche was. A niche is like inset into a wall. Like it's like the wall is carved out, kind of like a gotcha. nook, and it's got glass over top of it, and it's kind of pinned inside. Gotcha. On display. Gotcha. Yeah. We need the universe. You, you need the universal uh, lock pick. Oh, is it? Can I try? Smashing it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you mean smashing it. I was going to say, Nix is like, when she hears Lux pick, she's got to be like, oh. Well, uh, I don't I... see no Lux, do There's I? There's no lock. No, it's just no, no. Nix just responds to lock, lock picking. She's like, oh, oh, oh. I... <laughs> Smashing does not come first to mind if somebody says lock pick. Veteran, smash. <laughs> uh, you need version to break something? It's glass. Glass. Four pieces of glass. Glass. Um, Do you smash it, Bertrand? Cast, or? I'm going to cast Silence around us first. Okay. Oh, now you use it. <laughs> yeah, this is, feels more useful. Like, I don't want to be responsible for making loud noises and having people come again. We've already done that one. Strength check, Monty? Hmm? Strength oh, check no, you us. just choose to do it. It's glass. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> all right. Oh, like, oh. it magic. It's dire glass, yeah. for all I know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll cast silence here. Right. Uh, you smash well. the glass, Bertrand? Yes. All right, the silence spell masks the sound of smashing glass. Bertrand, give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Ooh. I'm just fucking with you. You're fine. You smash oh. the glass. Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> don't do this <laughs> And you collect the pieces within. Each piece is about probably an inch long. Um, uh, and yeah, You said a foot long, I thought. <laughs> no, no, no. It should be just here. No, one foot long. You are correct. Sorry. Okay. I was going to say, you made me write that in my notes. Don't change it now. <laughs> you are correct, yeah. It is, each piece is a foot long. And there are four pieces. No, well, technically be five. We need to find it. You give me two minutes, I can attach the two pieces that go together. Do it! Okay. You take okay. two minutes, okay. probably... Dropping the, I think mending, doesn't mending require verbal components? And? Let's see. Did he cast silence on himself, or can he leave the area of silence? Silence, silence is a radius, Scenario. so you drop it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You do, you need verbal, so you need to drop the silence spell. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, you cast mending twice. The bottom part of the staff is very beautiful. But the top part is what makes it most interesting is you put the two pieces together as the top of it seems to have an almost serpentine design at sort of the figurehead of the top of it. Bertrand's going to poke his head through the illusory wall to check, make sure Princess is okay. Yep. She's fine. She's just sitting down. While we were in there with the science spell cast, they were playing the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> just practicing. <laughs> Very well. Do we need to find another piece? How heavy is it? Um, all the the staff pieces. It does not provide a weight, so there is no weight applied. Okay, so who wants to carry it? I'll carry it. It seems to be a magical staff of some sort. Okay, hold on to that, Lionel, and uh, don't let the Durgar or the... Uh, I guess I don't know that it's a Zorn, so don't let the other creature see it either. So how do I mark this down, Monty? Uh, so I would mark it down as um, times two, two foot long staff, jade, jade staff pieces. Times two, two foot long. Jade staff Jade. pieces. That. You and don't need a. Note a it down. Room. Yeah, note it down as uh, 39B. Uh, 39. Do we need to yep. put question mark four behind that? Oh my god, my cat just fell off my lap. Uh-oh. Where's your mark? There we go. One moment I had a cat on me, and the next moment I didn't. 
he accidentally just slid right off. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> they get too comfortable and they just they just fall right off. You know what? A stupid question, but can can Nyx do just in case because they, this this could be a possibility? Can Nyx check for secret rooms here, like even behind the illusion and on the other side? Like, aha, the other piece was right next to them, just in a secret room. 21. Okay. Anyway, you're searching this anyway. room, or are you searching the one behind the illusionary wall? I'll start with this one behind the illusionary wall, and then I can search the other room after. Okay. You do see an illusionary wall. Or not an illusionary yeah. wall, but a hidden wall. Ooh. Right here. Shit. Nyx approaches. Okay. <laughs> There's like a slight stone that is slightly protruded that appears to be a button. Nyx presses the button. Okay. Oh, why are you like this? Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Lex anymore. Somebody's got to do it. The door ahead of you slides open, and I'm going to describe what this is. Okay. Floating in the air, you see a skull. Uh oh, not again. Go well last time. Twelve rotten bones swirling gently around it in midair in the middle of the room. On the floor between where the bones are circling lies a shattered stone coffer. Shattered stone coffer? Mm -hmm. Is it like how shattered? Can you see what's inside or? Like it's like a like almost like a like a coffer you'd put a dead body in. Mm. And swirling above is a skull with a bunch of bones, just kind of rotten bones, kind of swirling around the dwarven skull. Uh, it's bobbing up and down. Lionel, does your detect magic um, get anything from this? Does it? Uh, that's a good question, Mega Man. Because I think we, last time we saw floating bones, there was a gelatinous surprise. As you look and detect it with your magic, you detect divination magic specifically coming from these Where? bones. From the from bones. The bone. Yeah, the floating bones. That's not aggressive, right? So it should be okay? Not, not really, but I'm going to use mage hand to touch Nyx. the bones. I would uh, like you to roll a charisma saving throw for me, please. Ooh! <laughs> oh, why is it going to be charisma? Uh, okay. Is that That's one of the bad. ones I have advantage on with gnomes cunning? <laughs> You do, but it would be yeah. 15, uh, which okay. is still a failure. Uh oh. Bertrand and Lionel, you watch as Nyx for a moment kind of staggers. And Nyx, you feel your consciousness fade. As Nyx stands to their full posture, almost in a proud posture, and turns to you and goes, Greetings, travelers. Who are we speaking to? I am the Wait, dwarf. I am the Dwarf Prince Moorhild Crystal Mantle. I have bound my spirit to this place. Oh, hold on, sorry, can you repeat that name more? Yeah. Moorhild Crystal Mantle. I will write that down for you. You hear this voice coming out of Nyx. Dwarf Ghost Possessing. <laughs> ah, excellent. So she's possessed. Uh, you are holding our friend, uh, possibly against her will. I will bring her no harm, but I must incur upon you wisdom of this place. May I... May I offer my body as a vessel in her stead? I have made my choice, and I shall speak these words. Very well. You better hide to... at this one anyways. Yeah, it's just more natural, really. <laughs> between the, between the red hair and the height, it just fits. He just sees Bertrand looking like Bertrand. Nah, nah, I'm fine. Just like poses, like yeah. fine, fine. Heed my words and my warnings. You who have seen through our machinations and hold wisdom to find secrets. The heart of the mountain is sealed behind doors of black basalt that only a dwarf king can unlock. In the mountain's heart, you'll find your own greatness. That upon which I give you my first wisdom. My second wisdom. When you enter a room, 
Speak the word Zunderbrook for all to hear. You might be rewarded. Uh, anybody speak Dwarven? Bertrand does. That word, Zunderbrook, essentially translates to secret trove, is what it means. Hmm. And lastly, for this is most dire warning. In our history, demons once invaded our temple, but we trapped them in statues. Beware them. Been writing so fast. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Anybody got any um, king dwarfs lying around that we can use to open the thing he was talking about? This is my wisdom I impart to you as praise for finding this place. And now I return your friend unharmed and as promised. Thank and you. Nyx, you come back into consciousness and kind of stumble. That was really weird. I, I don't think I like that. that... Oh. How conscious was Nyx? Nyx, you don't remember anything. As far as you're concerned, you just kind of warbled for a second and then came back into consciousness. Okay. What Nick, happened? You right? I, I yeah, I feel a little dizzy. Well, you were possessed by a dwarf. Oh. Okay. The spirit of the deceased dwarf, one uh, moon healed crystal mantle, has uh, took possession of your body temporarily to give us some forms of wisdom. And surprisingly, it was very good advice. Oh, so I guess it was a good thing that I failed my wisdom saving check or charisma saving check. <laughs> That's a good thing I failed. <laughs> Are the bones still in the room? The bones it's are still in the room. Rock. Yep. It's still floating in the middle of the room. Uh, Bertrand's gonna walk into the room. Zunderbrock. Nothing happens. Okay. That good to know. <laughs> Do we have to retrace our steps now and yell that into every room? I'm okay with that. I'm just, you know. <laughs> Oh, we can just do it and just so full of beans. <laughs> Shay is like, Shay's okay. just like, Hold give it. me the danger, if, give me the if excitement. We, if we don't tell Nyx that we have to say Zunderbrock, <laughs> and she <laughs> thinks it's just a weird tick. You, you already said Earth it, it's too has. late now. Yeah, but you don't know why you said it. You don't speak to Warren. She's, she's fall. <laughs> she, she'll say it anyway. She doesn't know what it means, but she'll say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gaslighting. Yeah, so we Shadow Nidhog already... has the right the right way of it. Dwarf possession is good for you. It puts a proper beard on your face. Oh yeah. Whoa. I have a beard. It's just like on top of my head, you know. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fucking yeah. So I don't know if someone else got more, more better details because I what I could hear from the first one was my uh, the heart of the mountain can only be accessed by a, a king dwarf. So it's a black basalt doors. Um... Black basalt. And it said that it could be opened by a king dwarf. There might be other things. And then it said, behind the heart, we can find our own greatness. Um, whatever that means. Maybe the crown makes you the king dwarf? We found that funny crown. We did that find a true. crown, if we put on a crown. But do we have a dwarf, though, is the question. Well, the thing is, that I, don't, I mean, this is a democratic election. It's like, it doesn't need to be exactly a, the same the species, but if you're still wearing the crown of a dwarf king, you're the dwarf king. Yeah. That's Nyx bad. has been possessed by a dwarf. Is she, like, half dwarf now? Does that count? <laughs> Just cut off Bert's shins. Put on the crown, see what happens. Can we find, can we find a tiara that turns you into a dwarf? Yeah, yeah our circlet. Yeah, can we, can we have somebody, like, magically, like, you know, mess with it and change the race from human if to dwarf? Oh god, if I could get through Polymorph. Ah! Oh. At what level do I get that? Very high. Yeah. Well, that was fun and worth it. Are you injured? No, no, I, he, he didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't really notice what happened. I just felt dizzy, you know, yeah, kind uh, of blacked out for a second. But... One, one, one moment. Zonderbrock. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we leave, I am going to close the door. Okay, you got it. Okay, you press Wait the button and the door slides back into place. 
we'll just run back to the music room like <laughs> oh yeah the the music room. <laughs> Wait, yeah, hold on a moment we have to step over the dead bodies ew 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 oh uh <laughs> that was wall that is wall just disregard okay. that that was an accident okay. <laughs> nothing happens it, look, it looked like a secret wall to me I really tried to run through every room from before and yell thunder breath. Okay, well, do we want to go back down is. south from that direction then? Um, we didn't find Anyone? the giggling, so I can't really say what that was leading to, but. Nix, I'm telling you, it was a trap. It wasn't! Also, I will point out you guys have had three combat, so you can take a long rest. Alright. Go take a nap inside the room with the floating bones. It feels kind of safe in there. <laughs> I'm still feeling oh. good. I don't know about you. Yes, we can still keep going a little bit. Just to try out yeah, this I'm little to keep going. Raised. Okay, Let's... which way do we want to go? Well, we can either keep going through where we were just went going, or we can backtrack. Because I'm pretty sure this going north here is going to lead us back to where the other... Uh, to where the elven arc was. If we go north, right. we can go but south. We could keep going south. There's a door here as well. Mm -hmm. If we okay. go to the if we go to the west, we are we know we're going to encounter more Duragard. Well, I think it's more north, really. Yeah, the one we saw running away ran north as well. Yeah. Yeah, but the north yeah. passage he went through was going west. Yeah, but if you look at the map that I beautifully drew, there is like an area up there where they all kind of correlate and it's all up north. Hmm. So. So you. Hey, you're the one in the, in the investigation. Hi, I'll follow you. Okay, I'm going to roll a d4. If it's an odd number, we go left. If it's an even number, we go right. Flip okay. the coin. Boom. Boop. Mm. All right. <laughs> Instantaneously focus. at the door. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know she had teleportation magic. I'm sure the Durgar that follow up won't be upset about that pile of bodies over there at all, you know? They're gonna see that and go, oh yeah, no, let's Measure not try that again. 60 feet to the right, please. Just right in blood, leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, stop following us. Okay. And you know what? Fuck it, I'll leave that message. Leave us alone. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. It right, written in blood. Uh oh. Oh. oh boy. Not another boulder, is it? <laughs> As you walk, the stone underneath your feet breaks away. Uh oh. And you fall into a 20 foot deep pit. Ah, uh, the pit. You take... And it's another one that doesn't have a saving throw, right? Nope. It's Dungeon a weight based builder. one, which you definitely beat. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage as you crash to the ground. And as you kind of reel from the look, you open your eyes and you see across from you a magical glyph that begins to screech loudly and then explode. Oh! I need you to make a oh. dexterity saving throw for me, please. Okay. You can make your now. Uh, so does the dungeon delver that lessens damage apply to the drop or the explosion or both? Because it what is a it, trap. What does it specify and say? Um... Let me just... The surgical screams and explodes. I have resistant to damage dealt by trap. So half of the falling damage, because what is currently exploding is actually a spell. Four, okay. And then dexterity, dexterity. What is the spell of trap? Did I use my, my... Did I use my inspiration? Do you think that's enough? What do you think, guys? Hmm? I don't know. I think I'd say the inspiration. Uh, I, I, I think you might be fine. But it's up to you. If I die, this is on you guys. Oh, you can uh, you can you. do your, your rogue shit. You can you can lower that damage. That's true. I do have evasion. Does evasion count? 
<laughs> it it should, it's yeah. It's a deck save. Is this a deck save? It is a deck save. So okay. are you keeping are you keeping the sixteen? Yeah, I'll keep the sixteen. Okay, that is a failure. Oh, yes. You take thirty-eight <laughs> points of fire damage. Ooh, as so in, half. in front of you, Bertrand, you just see a huge explosion, just geyser out from this hole that you just saw Nyx drop into. <laughs> okay, so I do take half, so I, that, that is good. Now you're full of fire. Okay. Nyx has been like, like doing like little like prance around the dungeon all happily. To be and just fair, if have... anybody is gonna fall in a trap, it's probably best Bang. that it is the person that can take half damage. So <laughs> it's plus singe and it kind of like melts the tears off his face as he looks down, probably seeing Nick still undeterred. Oh and wow! Are scorch, by the way. Well, that was definitely the most effective trap I think I've fallen in thus far. Bertrand will <laughs> offer a hand back up. <laughs> it's 20 feet. I think I need more than a hand. <laughs> we'll offer two hands. Uh, he'll, take out his, he'll take out his rope and help her out. Okay. Yeah, you drop down a rope and Nyx, you're able to climb out. The last thing you want is to pretend the tramps are not harmful. <laughs> you want to top up? Eh, uh, sure. Not the cure wounds. See, you're good as new. <laughs> That's basically new. like all that damage, right? Yeah, the sick basically. <laughs> you know, like okay, talking seriously though, like being able to like have dungeon delver and like evasion and everything, it probably is a good thing if a rogue actually takes trap damage. Oh yeah, keep <laughs> walking. <laughs> Princess just walks by with the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> screw it. Have another one. Uh, it's gonna be a fourth level. Oh, okay. That tuba. We, we need to put some tuba sound effects into the game now. Oh my god, right? You get healed for 18, Nyx. Oh my god, I'm almost up at full. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. I'm not very good at jumping, though. Does somebody want to throw me across here? Oh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Crawl across the wall. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that perception check, can I see ahead if there's any more traps or do I need to get closer? All right, you can roll a perception check. Because last time there was a pitfall trap, I remember there being like two back to back. With or at least you go over, Bertrand will the rope. You do not see any other traps now. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um... Then I can use my climb speed to just kind of hug the wall and go over. Okay. Yeah, and then Bert, Bert and Wisp will just hold the rope between us so that. You guys can get across. Nyx will accept that offer if that's what you're doing. Yep. Okay. How are you getting the horse across? Well, I think we're going to let Nyx over first and then see. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're checking to see what's up ahead. I'm assuming you're going to immediately look around the corner. I'll perception, yeah. I'll, I'll see if there's any danger up here. Measure north and south 60 feet for me, please. Okay. Oh, whoops, I got that. If the mule has a strength score of 10 or ten or more, she can just jump. But I don't know how much she has. I feel like a mule should be good with jumping, but then again, she also has saddlebags, right? So I don't know. I don't know if that affects jumping. And strength. And a tuba. If she has 14 strength, she can jump it. Yeah, she can jump that then. She just blasts the uh, tuba as she jumps. Yeah, yeah. on the other hand, I am missing, I'm missing two feet. It splits off into four hallways, it seems. Um, it seems to split off into four hallways. It's pretty long over here, so... A long hallway. We're committing ourselves to exploring if we jump across the trap. Sure, why not? If there's a trap, that means the Durogar will need to be careful with it. I'd like enough, do you want to head across over the bridge? Yep, throw me. But I will hold the, the rope for you as you walk over. Oh. Sure. Okay. That way you don't have to jump. <laughs> My Lord Bragg, do you wish to use the rope as well? Of course. Now watch my balancing act. He's going to like, 
Shoop. Princess the mule lands on the other side. Gracefully. Mm-hmm. Good girl. And I perception check again for Go traps for or sounds or twenty-four. You do not hear or see anything. Okay. Let's start from do the top, want... shall we? You want to start from the top, so go up first. Mm-hmm. Wait, the, the dwarves said rooms, right? When yes, it comes room. to the sun uh, Okay. You just just change the sun. Uh, what is Nick's a hallway but an awkward room? Nick will open the door. Okay. What is that? Did you open up the door? This room is blackened. The furnishings appear to have been incinerated and charred bits of wood and stone lined strewn about the floor. Seems like someone charred this room. That wasn't me, I swear. Uh, can I roll an investigation check in the room? Sure, go for it. You have to move your token into the room, though, to check. Doop. As you enter uh, the room. 23. Some sort of magical conflagration caused this damage, and it seems to have started in the middle of the room, but you're not sure what caused the devastation, like what triggered the devastation, but the start was definitely in the center. So it's devastation. It is Something not magical intention. went off in the center of this room. I'm not really sure what. Granted, I'm not very magically inclined, but it started in the center, and Seems to have hit everything in here. Try saying the thing. As I look at my notes to it. Zunerbrook. Zunerbrook. Okay. Uh, Zunerbrook. There we go. Nothing happens. Nope. So he said that everyone needs to hear it. Can you yell it? Zunerbrook. Nothing happens. Okay. So you want a more do you want a more in depth investigation? I've done everything I can. Mm. Well, isn't there is there another room down here? Well, there's another room up here, rather. Uh, oh, not more hallway. Measure up sixty feet for me, please. Okay. Well, do we want to go up or do we want to go down? I say we. <laughs> I vote for top just for the sake of not not uh, backtracking all the way up. Yeah, but weren't you the one that said you didn't want to go north towards the Duragar? I said not west. I believe they're in the west. Measure 60 feet to the west room, please. And 60 feet to the north. Okay. Yep. Can I roll another perception check for trap? You got it. Now Go I'm for it. 21. 21? You don't see anything. Anyway. Ah, looks like a bigger room up here. I love that now that you're looking for them, they're not going to be nowhere. <laughs> That's how it always works. Okay. One second. Possible Sandra, bro. Stone panels are set into the west and eastern walls of this 20 foot high room that bears frescoes with dwarven runes. And I believe, uh, Bertrand, you can read Dwarvish, can't you? Yes, he can. As you kind of get close with your light and read into it, 
this tells the story of King Malaire's obsession with Mithril. And written in Dwarvish is a declaration from Malaire and his dedication and determination to rid the Undermountain of its infestation of beholders, Durgar, and Drow. Beholders, Durgar, um, and Drow. And Drow, yes. Uh, this uh, uh, image is carved into the walls. It, they are of a King Malaya. Uh, describes a uh, obsession with Mithril and a begrudging uh, want to remove all beholders, Duragar, and Drow from the Underdark or Undermountain. Hmm. Okay. Can I perception check in this room? Go for it. Oh, and did we, we yell the Zunderbrook? 24. As you look around. Zunderbrook! And you yell. Uh, you do not see anything, and yelling doesn't appear to do anything either. You want to give me 10 more minutes to see if that's magic? Sure. Do we, we can wait 10 minutes. Ritual casting, it took magic. You got it. All right, as you oh, cast... oh, sorry, I'm, I'm reading ahead, honestly. Um, <laughs> oh, don't worry. As you cast detect magic, you detect no magic in this space. Gotcha. I like to think that uh, any potion we give Lionel now, uh, the glass ball turns into a bag. <laughs> Pull out my bag of healing. <laughs> it's, it tastes really good. It's just <laughs> fresh, and you just drink it, and it's so good. Give me one second. I'm just going to hide the previous location. Ah, uh, yes, my sandwich bag of healing. Because you guys are worse. Princess. Princess, yes. We have finally, a name now. She finally has a name after God knows how many sessions. <laughs> Look, we just had to find something that came naturally, you know? Alright. I'm just going to preemptively disable this. As you enter into this room, Nyx, stone panels are set into the north and southern wall that bear frescoes and dwarvish ruins. There are three objects on display in this chamber on stone blocks in the middle of the room, each encased under glass. However, a fourth display has been broken and its glass is shattered across the floor and lays empty. Uh, Bertrand, do you want to do your Zunderbrook thing? Uh, Zunderbrook! Nothing happens. Can I no roll magic? an... Uh, you detect no magic, no. I want to roll an investigation check on the broken one. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an... Yeah, eight, uh, okay. 18. 20. Like... It's a... Yeah, with advantage. It looks like someone yeah. smashed it and took whatever was inside. You can even see there's like a thing inside that was probably like a standee for something to be on. And it's missing now. Right, but so no yeah, clues as to what it is. No, not a clue. You do see, um, on, in one of the display cases, a rusty iron trowel. In another display case, you see, like, a large hooked claw. And in the third one that is untouched, you see a, um, like, a helmet? A very large helmet that seems to have been split in the middle. A large hook claw? Like an animal claw? Or... Yeah, like a large hook claw. 
So yeah, the regard already went through here. The frescoes on the north and southern wall uh, seem to depict this character, this Millar, uh, being a prospector. The first thing the image you see is uh, the fresco of, a, of them building a bridge over a river. And you see in the next following image them meeting an elf. In the following images you see them prospecting for ore and gems in caves and foothills, hiding from orcs. And you see in one panel him fighting a large winged draconian looking beast. And in each scene he is joined by a small company of dwarven prospectors. That grows. Mm. But the dwarves, by I guess it's the tale of their, their of their kingdom, how they started. All right, well, you see a familiar chamber. Hey, full circle. Ooh. Okay, it's what we like to see, man. If we can connect on the map, we know where we're going and where we've been. Okay, so uh, back down south to go explore the other ways. Yep, I'm down for that. Okay. <laughs> oh god, you that one? <laughs> I want to see if this loops around or if there's another room right here. Envy your boundless energy, Nix. Hey, you gotta you gotta be happy about life sometimes. You know, we've we've run into a lot of scary things and a lot of enemies, and I don't know. This floor is just making me excited. Uh, as, you, as you peer upwards, Nick, you see a cradle that seems familiar to you to the north. Oh. Okay, so guys, confirm this is the way that wraps around. So. Mhm. Mm More south. And then she's on the move again. It's running love, every direction. I love the idea that she says, you need to think of a thing more happiness, and then just hard cut to hyper-realistic painting of... <laughs> of <Bertrand's laughs> <face. Bertrand. laughs> I imagine it's you're still running after me with that child leash, like, no, why doesn't she stop? <laughs> I will conjure the child leash. Why? Why doesn't she stop? I just... Bracky, I know it's I I never want to request her, but I would love to see Bertrand with that that image of that woman with the two child leashes <laughs> and the kids are playing with two different directions, and one is Lionel and one is Nyx. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, we've been through that door. <laughs> no, I just keep running. Bertrand's in heavy armor, just. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like stepping forward, like doing a jaunty jog. And we're not sprinting; it's just a, it's a nice jog. Can you measure sixty feet down? Yeah. I'll move the camera on the stream, but it's weird. Mm -hmm. it's no, Nix is even the stream small can't legs. keep up. Just I got, I got to know I'm going Mach ten right now. Hey, look, I got, I got that bonus action dash, you know. <laughs> yeah, we are lucky we can actually keep up with her. You're lucky a gnome has a max speed of 25. That's where you guys can catch up. <laughs> uh, Nick opens the door. Okay. Keep up with you for like one round. <laughs> Hold on. This circular room has a domed ceiling 30 feet high and contains six stone beds rest with headboards against the wall. A, shadow, a shallow niche stands empty above each bed, and at the foot of each bed is a stone chest. However, it appears that this one has been smashed open. And I roll an investigation check to see if, or a perception check to see if there's anything that might have been missed in the overturning of this room. Sure, go ahead. Okay, which one? Perception or investigation? Investigation. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Natural 20. Natural 20. All right, as you search around, you you find smashed alabaster statuettes of dwarf kings all over the floor. And they are just been rendered absolutely, like, useless now. 
it looks very clearly, and as you kind of look on the ground, you can see Durgar footprints. It appears that they came into these rooms and looted them. Wow, those Durgars have no respect for art. Zonderbrook! Nothing happens. I <laughs> 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 keep yelling at I like how we've dedicated, like, Bertrand to being the one to yell at in every well, room. Well, he knows Dwarven. Yep. Yeah, he, he, to say it. He, yeah he has the pro correct pronunciation, like, you know. Ah, no, Lionel, pass me. What? <laughs> 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 oh, Bonus action dash. You're so hard to keep up. Felicity's running so fast with such tiny legs. Lionel just teleports. It's impressive, really. Save up and build up all that energy somehow. Give me one second. I accidentally used the drawing tool by accident. <laughs> oh, okay, Ben. I mean, Nyx goes to open the door first, but. Okay. This room is identical to the one to the north. Same thing, smashed statuettes, just ruined furniture. Should I investigate a little bit, or should we just move on, guys? It's probably the same. They seem like they looted that last room pretty well. They probably did the same here. But you could look for a secret, and... Zonderbrook? Yeah, that's... I'll roll an invest... 19. This fucking word. You look around and yeah, same thing. Smash statuettes all over the floor and, and no magic, no nothing. No magic, no nothing. No. No Sonderbrock. Oh look, nothing. no song. I mean lead. You see <laughs> no. an unnatural tunnel. Well, natural. It look it similar to the way in which you entered. You see another tunnel. Ooh. Is it leading upward, downward, or the same level? It seems to be declining, so going downward. Oh no no no! We are not going down. And it looks like it was dug out by the same creature that maybe dug out, like... Your way down to here? Yeah. Well, Does it look excavated in, uh, towards the uh, us or towards the tunnel? Uh, it's impossible to tell. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, we let's... can investigate later. Yeah, let's stick to the, the like, actual, like, structure. Floor. For now. Yep. We're going for a full floor map, people. Oh boy. <laughs> it's on <the> breath. <laughs> Sorry. Perception like... check. It's been a while. Yeah, go for it. It's been a while. 28. I imagine Nyx runs up to the corner, like puts her hands out. She's like, ah, I gotta look. It hit, like, your, your hand hits a uh, fucking Bertrand's shin. <laughs> I, I can't wait for you to reach your limit and just not look for traps anymore and just You do fall. not Usually how it goes. <laughs> I usually perception check for a while and then I'm like, eh, it's probably fine. And then I fall into a trap again. It's like the whole... The full sense of security. You see another tunnel uh, that seems to be going towards the same direction as the previous one. Well, Me again, measure, we can... Measure just... 60 feet to the west, please. We can come back and explore this later. Give me one second to hide where you've gone. Whoa, I just got mule jump scared. Uh, same. <laughs> I, I, I scrolled up to look at where we previously were. The mule was there. And then when I scrolled down, the mule was where we were as well. I was like, oh my god, it's in two places at once. She's everywhere. Oh my god. It's always right when I zoom in as well. <laughs> A room of sorts. Bertrand, go. Bert, I choose you. Does this constitute us a room? It is Zunderbrook. Zunderbrook! Okay, you yell it out. Hold on. Let me check something here. Oh. <laughs> oh when shit. The, hold on, when hold they on. wrote this, Nothing happens. this pre made adventure, they were like, 
How are we going to make it interesting? Oh, we give them this clue that they have to yell out in every single room they enter. Guess what? <laughs> Nothing happens. This is an empty space. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. But, and then at the bottom, it's like, this only activates in one room on the entire map. <laughs> and is this one that it's secret? Can only find with their specific race? Um, is this just a closed off area? No, it keeps going. Measure 60 feet up. Okay. I haven't seen any magic in our way here, right? Nope. Okay. What's with this room? Why is this room like this? Yeah, is yeah. there anything special? Or is it no, just like it just has a curvatured wall. Okay. This, it literally this room just board. says this hall is flanked by two empty semicircular alcoves. The architect was like, yeah, it's too much too much square. It's too much square. <laughs> Let's have a sit down. I'm in. Lionel just like just walks like on the wall, just like a, you know, how, uh, when you go to one of those rooms in museums and you see kids just hogging the curved wall because it's just novelty. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a, just running your hand along it as you walk by. Yeah. Sure. That might lead us back to the corridor where the trap is. Yeah, I'm thinking so, but. Well, I mean. We gotta make sure. <laughs> I gotta get the map filled out, okay? I need it to be accurate. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Nyx will approach door and open door. <laughs> uh, Wiss, where are you going? No, no worries. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh god, this I mean, I mean, hey, started. if one, if you guys want to start heading off a different direction, Nick will just have, eventually have to follow you. So. Nick, what the fuck? <laughs> well, no, as you, no, no, no. If you open, Ooh. as you open up this door, uh, this room see, appears to be divided into four stone privies. <laughs> it oh, is, is, is literally a washroom, yeah, like a bathroom. Oh, yell the thing. Maybe it's like maybe it's like a puppet show. <laughs> yeah, the puppet show of uh, <laughs> the kid in the magic school. If this is the room that activates with Thunderbrook, I swear to God. <laughs> Nothing happens. The secret oh, is in the toilet the... at the end. That we know of. That we know of. Does anybody need to go? Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'll go. I have, you know I what? Have... Yeah. Where are we going to find another like... restroom? We're I feel like I haven't been to the bathroom in weeks. Everybody just goes into a cubicle. <laughs> Oh, this running is go me. into the toilet, you close the door, it, it, and you it's like a squat toilet. It's one of those Japanese squat toilets. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm the only girl in the party that doesn't feel appropriate to go in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you should have gone first. Lionel. Station in the boys' room. What? As you drop trow. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You feel something drip and hit your shoulder, like drool just <laughs> on your shoulder. Huh? And as you turn and look up, you see, coming out of its invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> a large frog-like creature <gasps> that immediately <gasps> drops on the ceiling and rushes you, and that's where we're gonna end the session for tonight. <laughs> no! <laughs> Pull your pants down. Once again, Lionel picks the wrong path. <laughs> I, would, I would, I would like to read this out loud. An invisible. I'm not going to say what the creature is, lurks in the privy to the south. It attacks anyone who searches or uses the privy. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally my favorite monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> For a fucking reason. You know what? I'm my note is just toilet demon. Right <laughs> if oh we were going to end off anywhere, like that that was going to be a good moment. <laughs> oh my my. I can't wait to start the next combat and everyone's first action is pull up trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Which, is by the way, like I'm gonna groaning. say this right now. Eddie, all of you who went to the toilet, you all have half movement because your pants are down. No, I don't. <laughs> cool. yeah. Wait. Oh, I gotta dial my armor on. Oh no, better hope Nyx doesn't get her first in initiative because if she runs into that, you know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, what, what if Thaddeus was just beginning to pull his pants down? No, all of your pants are now down. I've made this executive <laughs> no! decision as the dungeon yeah. master. You've decided we to use shooting. the toilets. Your pants are now down. Yeah. Oh, stupid you either kill. run out without your pants on or you have half movement. It is your choice. <laughs> well, I don't need armor. Oh my goodness. I don't either. 
Oh god, I'm gonna fucking Donald Duck this fight. God damn it. I think this is one of my wow. favorite D and D moments. You know, when when you talk to your friends about what what you do oh when you play D and D, this is the moment you can bring up right the fact here. We like... had multiple bathroom encounters. <laughs> 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 Someone but, that went oh, into the coast camp. None like safely. this. Oh god. No. I can't wait for next week now. <laughs> we were this close to just leave. We were this close to just leave, but no, we have to make this stupid joke. And I was paying for it. The one room you Nick didn't the investigate one. and walked away and you guys are like, yeah, we're gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> So that'll be fun. We get to get back to that. Why the fuck are you here? <laughs> I clicked oh. into chat and I just see somebody's like, "Well, this is a thing." Yeah, <laughs> Liam, but that, that this is a thing. Oh my god, I am fucking horrified. By the way, it, it gets a surprise round. Oh, oh of course, it gets a surprise <laughs> round. It's you in have the most viable position. Down. You're you're. <laughs> You're very vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> I am Ooh. gonna die. Ooh. Oh my god! Lionel well, will you never guys. use the restroom the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> he will have PTSD. You're, He's gonna, 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 gonna detect magic. He's gonna, gonna fireball. <laughs> I am mad. My detect magic didn't detect that thing. It was in the ceiling, dude. You didn't yeah, look no, up. Why would I? You know, this is like oh, when you walk you into will. a bathroom and you look behind the shower curtain. This is yeah. like, you know, you think in D and D, yeah, you you look a, you take a look at your surroundings in a dungeon bathroom, but fucking surprise, <laughs> toilet Dangerous. frog appeared. Oh my god. Oh. Well, I'm excited for next session. <laughs> oh, how are you? <laughs> I don't know. I had fun tonight. I was just feeling really jittery and you were really scary. like, I want to go everywhere, and I was like, Shay, are you good? Are you fine? Are you okay, friend? I'm I'm good. I just I, have a lot of energy right now, and I just I projected that onto Nick. You know. <laughs> I do not care who is in this room. I will fireball the goddamn hey, room. <laughs> what what if what if they're just a very eccentric uh, restroom attendant? <laughs> <laughs> so he's got like towels and cologne. Here's your bathroom mint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Good session, no. you guys. You 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 scoured. You went quite quite a ways. You went around plenty of places. Out. And you know we found some one secrets. So right? you know, yeah. Three actually. There was the one that we couldn't. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we couldn't. If I didn't if I didn't know you better, I I'd be concerned that someone has read the adventure because of how like thorough you guys have been. But I'm giving mm. you guys the benefit of the doubt and hoping you guys. Are oh being God, no! I love being fucking no. surprised. No, and to be fair, like the only reason we're getting a lot more stuff now is because like Nyx does have advantage on her perception and investigation mm -hmm. now, which yeah, really helps when looking for secrets. So. Also, the detect magic kind of gave us the first wool. Yeah. Did, yeah. Yeah. So it was a combination of like Lionel and Nyx, kind of like cooperatively looking for secrets. Yeah. Also, that Eureka oh. moment. Oh my god, our Discord Whoa, pictures just popped Whoa. up. Whoa. Oh lord. Whoa. Oh no. Uh -oh. Wait, oh, why weird. only half of them though? Yeah. That's now so we have two weird. cats in the party. Hold on. Uh -oh. well, they're, they're there we go, there. I fixed it. <laughs> that was oh, weird. Okay. Uh, I was too cheap to buy I was too cheap to buy the book. I'm not getting it. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't own the the adventure. Um, I want to buy it after we finish the adventure, but you know, not not I'm now. It. Yeah, it's Bert's a, just kind of what, nixed a chaperone at this point. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. I seriously want like Bertrand with the child leashes with the two people yeah, going in two different directions. I, I might actually want some done with some commissions this week because I, I have I got a couple that I need to take care of. I know I have work for you. That yeah. I got you doing right yeah. now, so. I want to draw so... memes, and one of the memes I want to draw is just Lionel in the toilet and just a frog in the ceiling. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the next combat. Oh, that's great. I, I yep. can't oh, wait. I, I mean, know. wait. Can we cancel for like a couple months? <laughs> I... No, no. No. I still can't believe no, Wizards no, no, read no. us like a fucking book. They were like, oh, yeah, they see restroom. <laughs> it makes sense. The players be like, hey, yeah, when's the next time we're going to see restroom again? Let's go use it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it has to specify if they search or if they use it. I'm like, yeah, that's they fucking really knew. They, knew. they knew. They knew. 
Listen, we've already learned so far in this module that restrooms are where battles occur. Like that drow yeah. guy, remember him? He was fighting for his life. He was fighting whoever for his wrote life. This, whoever wrote this clearly has IBS in real life. Oh my god. <laughs> also, like, some of the floors are weirdly, like, I hate to say it, but like, weirdly horny. And I'm like, okay. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, so, oh god, someone fall <laughs> I cannot Wait. wait to go through that art gate. Yeah, because that, that, then Lionel's going to be the one running everywhere. Oh, it's God. in the name! I like how you actually drop Trouser for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try well, everything. yeah, you got to commit. What are you like, going to do? Are you going to go to the bathroom with your pants on? You can't do that. <laughs> you oh. can when you're a baby, but once you're an adult. So... Oh. Half movement, eh? It's gotta be yeah. fun. Half movement, or you have to you have to abandon the pants and fight <laughs> naked, which will give Nyx the a condition. That's your choice here. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so... Nyx will have the blind condition. She'll have to fight Look, with her eyes closed. <laughs> I, I, I am the same as the barbarian. I can fight without any clothes. I have my mage armor. Look, I will fight with the blind condition if next time we run in, like I, I can play it so that Nyx closes her eyes. I'm really fluffy. You can't see anything. Uh, that's that's just retractable. It's fine. This is so silly. <laughs> God, I love D and D. This module is really fun, though. Like, legitimately, the yeah. fact they even think about some of these things is pretty great. Fuck. God, but why is one? Oh God, no, no, I'm gonna shut up. Oh God. My brain. Fucking God damn it. Hey, you guys got a lot done. You you fought quite a few things. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna fight another thing. No, oh, yeah. And then we My can probably just in the monster. Lionel's just gonna just turn himself invisible every time he has to use the restroom. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have trauma forever. Every forever. bathroom you walk shark into, comes like out. shark comes I'm out of the toilet and eats you. I'm gonna be a shy pooper for the rest of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> to be fair, the fact that it, he came from above is probably better than if he came from below. So yeah, be happy for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your Honestly. penis obliterated, no longer. No! <laughs> I need that. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> or it's like all the guys are panicking in the bathroom and tell Nyx not to come in. It's like, are you guys okay in there? Worry it about sounds it, don't like... <laughs> are you sure? Do you yeah. It's just boy stuff. Fucking <laughs> <Okay. laughs> It's like that meme of like what girls do in like the changing room versus what the boys do in the changing room. <laughs> so Go away, Nick. We're playing Halo. Oh, okay. Just I'll just wait out here and play tic tac toe by myself. It's okay. It's you and the mule. It's you and the you and yeah, the mule. You, it's me, me, me and the mule. I'll, I'll mule be like, are, are boys always this weird? Like. <laughs> Nick's in the bathroom opening a gold chest, or us in the bathroom fighting a fucking toad. <laughs> you can't handle what God goes on me. in the boys' room, Nix. <laughs> the, the boys walk out, we all have matching tattoos. <laughs> the frog dumpers. <laughs> the frog dumpers. <laughs> hey, you guys might have a party name now. <laughs> no. I think I prefer work in progress over the frog. Uh. <laughs> It'll be oh, the frog team. dumpers plus two Bad because Nick and the mule will not be a part of the party. Oh uh, yeah, Chad will be <laughs> upset. Oh man! Oh my god! god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my days! I can't wait for next session. It's a perfect place to stop. This is gonna be great. Oh, oh god! What the fuck Lord. is the name of the anime? Don't look it up. I'll kill you. No 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 no! I got a meme anime phase. The name of the anime, right. not enemy. Oh, I heard enemy, anime. and I was like, Oh, I know the enemy. I, he's, yeah. my he's my favorite with the monster. Here it is. Here's the picture. Or this is just Lionel in in the bathroom right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just oh. absolute panic. <laughs> Are you gonna put in chat, Monty, for the chat to see Lionel's panic? Yeah, sure, I'll I'll open it up. <laughs> There you go, chat. That's that's currently the face, Lionel's state. The face of absolute despair. <laughs> In absolute surrender ah, to fate. And you know, the best part is the other guys probably don't know either, so they probably just no, we're not gonna Lionel, know like, freaking until... out in the doll. 
He just starts oh, screaming. This... And you, everyone's just like, damn, Lionel, what did you eat? <laughs> uh, wait, is this just that month? Is this just a freaking Austin Powers scene of the guy fighting as an assassin <laughs> in the bathroom? Come on, buddy. You show that you show that turd who's the boss. Oh my god. Don't push too hard, you're going to hurt the pipeline. Oh my lord. I'm Indeed. excited. It's so I, I weird. Leave, <laughs> I leave that room and all I left behind is the frogs in on, on the freaking toilet. Like oh what the Turns out the Undermount was just a giant sewer. Oh god yeah. damn it. This is what happens when you drink bagged orange juice. I am excited, but I'm so terrified right now. Yeah, I think you're definitely at your most vulnerable state uh, yeah. in any of our combat. So. <laughs> I have never been vulnerable. I mean, like, you gotta think about it in real life. Like, if, if somebody were to come barging in and breaking into your house while you're on the toilet, like, you know, that's like a next level vulnerable, you know? This is the, this is the that's the reason I always check behind the curtains. I'm yep. terrified. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, always gotta pull those shower curtains back. <laughs> but y'all don't have a poop bat? <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> in my in my brain where it's just like fucking Lionel screaming and you're all pooping and then fucking out of like just Bertrand just says the dwarven word. Thunderbrook! <laughs> <laughs> And the frog is like, oh, and the toilet, I hear the call. The, the toilet beneath you just opens and like just like opens up into a golden staircase and you're like, ooh! You know, Harry Potter Chambers of Secrets, like, that that was a secret chamber in a bathroom, it so was, you never know. Love that puppet show. <laughs> you have to oh. run into that toilet so fast, you have to, like, go, it's basically like platform three, uh, nine and three quarters. Gotta go through the wall. Oh yeah. my lord. Well, I'll see y'all next room. week for the toilet adventure. <laughs> Dungeon of the Toilet oh, Wizard. What are we going to name the episode? I want to name it Donkey Kong, because that one was great. Donkey. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Donkey Kong is probably oh, the most not get copyright infringement. No, that's fine. Because it's a donkey, and they turn into King Kong. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally wholly unique. You can do donkey you know, if you hyphenate episode, it, it should be fine, right? Call it something silly with the bathroom. <laughs> oh, so uh, I think we're going to raid Hey Mr. Rabbit, who's playing a, I think, a horror yeah. game called Signalis. We could raid Ooh. Critical Role. I mean, they're struggling right now for viewers. Uh, they're yeah, really look at those Look at those rookie numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really do like supporting, you know, indie small creators. Yeah, but today we're going to be selfish. We're going to raid Hey Mr. Rabbit. Yeah. Should we tell the, him to like check behind the shower curtains or something yeah. like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All I'm saying is Mad Mercer needs to get better material. He's been doing the toothy mouth for too long. Oh my god. Yeah, you can go our tell raid... him that personally. Go hop into his chat. I'm sure that will go over well. Our raid message yeah. will yeah. be... What should our raid message be for Rabbit? Uh... Gotta be something toilet related, guys. Toilet oh, ambush. Good. That's gonna be our raid message is toilet ambush. Toilet ambush. <laughs> toilet <laughs> toilet ambush. ambush. All right, toilet turmoil is actually pretty good too. That one's good. That could be our <laughs> episode title. Toilet <laughs> ambush. Toilet ambush. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you next week. See you next week for the toilet attack. <laughs>